Coming to you live from their studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Koza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, <laughs> and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, and as the video said, I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And we are joined I'm here today with Elad from Golden Egg Games. How are you doing today, Elad? I'm doing good. So, first and foremost, we'd like to say a big thank you to you and Golden Egg Games for showing off Steam Pirates today, which is what we're going to be showing off on our Spotlight stream. And uh, let's just jump right into the meat and potatoes of things here. So I'm going to toss it over to Anne, who's going to do what she does best, and ask all of the uh, the hard-hitting <laughs> questions, right? I want to be... Catch. There you go. I want to be like <laughs> Oprah. Now, that's what I need to add to my interview segment, is I need to find a way to get prizes underneath audience seats... So you'd be like, look under your chair! Considering we have a home audience, that would be Shh. very creepy. Everybody, look under your chair! No. It's nothing. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Elad, so I think the last time we were able to have you on stream was at Gen Con. And Matt, did you do the interview for your guys' Roll and Write game? I did. Uh, uh, RPG game? <laughs> yeah, the like Dragons that. and Dice game. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun yeah. showing that off, and I think that uh, you got a chance to play that once we got back home. Anne. Yeah, Josh and I w played it. We made it all the way through, so that was that was cute. That was a lot of fun. I really liked that game. Oh, cool. Thank you. But, so, it, but it's, uh, yeah. I was really surprised when the guy said we had another Golden Egg game on, and to see that the game was just so different from the Dragon and Dice game. So talk to me a little bit about how you know you guys made that transition from the from that game to this one. Um, well, um, we've published many games. We, I think till this game, it's we've published twenty games, and most of them are, are much different. So Dice and Dragon is a, it's a it's a game that I designed so I can basically play with my my kid. Uh, he doesn't play any RPG because you know kids are hot short and you know short attention so spans span. <laughs> like a goldfish. Uh, and um, they they cannot you know do a full adventure. So I I made this game so easy so you can get into it and finish it with, like within 15 minutes. So we can do chapters uh, you know by chapter and chapter. So that's about Dice and Dragon. And and this game is is more like. Um, a full-on, you know, board game, um, uh, Euro style, um, very fine type of. Um, I would say like it's it's more of a medium-heavy kind of um, game. Okay. And it's it's we, we made more of those than we made the, the, the smaller, simpler games. Okay. What was the inspiration behind this game? What made you guys want to do want to develop and design Steam Pirates? Um, it's a uh, Macau designer basically made a really, uh, um, you know, uh, he always approached me with those uh, simple ideas about uh, mechanics. And uh, this was a game he showed me like two years ago. Mm -hmm. And we developed it together. And I put some, uh, you know, um, more time with the designing with him and uh, just made it much more better than the first design so it, it was his you know basic design and his basic concept that i just shimmed on and refined and made it uh, a much better game and and we wanted to do it as a steam pirate theme because um we thought that the story about uh you know that that players will interact with the game with the event deck will be much more interesting and look much more cool also. Um, you will see when you, when you play the game why it's, it's, it's more fitting of a steampunk okay. and um, a steampunk uh, theme and not you know your casual uh, pirate game. Right. Yeah, steampunk seems to be a very 
you know, popular theme amongst people. You know, you always have that that thing going on. I think that steampunk and pirates typically have a pretty similar fan base, if you want to say. Like, I see that a lot at, like, Renaissance festivals where you've got pirate days, steampunk days, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, they're airships and explorers, right? And whenever Mm -hmm. you have airships and explorers, you're always going to have some variation of pirates. So I was really excited because I don't think that there are many steampunk games that we've played. I mean, you see a lot in the board game community. I think, like, your classic fantasy theme or monster theme, I think those are really prevalent, um, but not too many pirate games, and definitely not so many, at least maybe now new or what have you, steampunk. So that's exciting. It's nice to see something new. It's nice to get that that little bit of change. Uh, So what was one of the things that you really changed from the original design that you think really added value to the the redesign? Well, I I like to say that it's uh, mutual. (laughs) Uh, right. approach and, and not just me but of course. Uh, yeah uh, we added the change a lot of the game from it uh, we wanted to have it uh, to be a exploration game uh, where the ships are, are moving constantly moving and, uh, and 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 you need to travel and, 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 and interact with many of those cities on the board and that's my main change for the game uh, the game were uh, at the beginning more, more static, so less movement and less interaction. And uh, I basically uh, changed a bit uh, the event deck, so it will be have a much more uh, impact on the game, not just market impact, but you know physical impact. So, so those big flagships. They were, but they, they, they didn't have the same function uh, as they do right now. They will, you know. Uh, Which it, we can. It's also, uh, yeah, uh, also made it a bit less mean than it was originally. Oh, uh, it, Matt's going to be more. disappointed. He definitely likes the mean games because he's a salty guy. Who, me? No, never. <laughs> Couldn't be. Never. <laughs> so it's a lot more, it's a oh. lot more f- friendly than the original design um let's say let's cut them. <laughs> okay all right that's, that's a good that's, that's a good, good way to explain you, it you still have a bunch of uh, yeah you have still a bunch of stuff that you can pull off and <laughs> and make each other uh, angry about but it was <laughs> it was much much meaner much more aggressive <laughs> who is this game for what kind of gamer is really going? Did you make this game for? Um, any board game, uh, basically, it's a jump through. If you played any type of uh, basic, uh, if you're starting, uh, you know, the hobby and just played Catan or stuff like that, you can jump into that game easily. If you like, uh, play Terraforming Mars, all of the hot games right now, and you're just looking for the next big game that you can. And get into it. This is just for you. If you like to try and you you are with with some theme about it and and then a lot of interaction, it's also for you. Uh, if you are a heavy you uh, fan, you should try it also. So we're trying to hit you know all those little focus groups. But this game is you know we played it a lot over Gen Con. We played it a lot you know in. Uh, closed, uh, you know, better playtesting and stuff like that. Everybody, you know, liked the game, so this is why we are very confident about, you know, it, it can fit any gaming group. Perfect. It, well, even kids. We played think- it with kids, even. So. Oh, so that's good. So it's got a nice, a nice age range. Well, I'm ready to dive in. Head and first. Si- <laughs> Feet first. Into the air? Yes. Yeah, dive we're, into we're the air. A, there you go. We're on an airship, not a normal boat. It's yeah. good because I'm Superman. Plant your feet on the deck. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's switch over to the board cam here. And so this is the board for Steam Pirates. We did some preliminary setup, but uh, Elad, would you mind walking us through a brief rules explanation before we jump into the gameplay? Yeah, sure. Um, we're playing Steam Pirates. It's, uh, we play through three seasons, basically, that uh, we have a, a season... And uh, you know, a round track on the right hand, yeah, that's correct. And um, each round is played, um, let's, let's start all over. 
um, each pirate will try to be the best pirate uh, in, in this world and try to make his way into the pirate syndicate. So uh, what you're trying to do mainly in, in cause of the game is making money. Making money by trading goods and those trade goods are all over this uh, world. Each uh, city island that uh, in, in this world has a unique good that is specialized in. So you're trying to move your ships around, uh, making business with those cities. Potentially, yeah, those are the four goods. We have coal, rum, firearms, and automatons. And uh, you're trying to uh, fly around with your ship uh, across the four wings here and try to make business with those islands, expand your trading and network by building new trade houses and potentially send goods from your trade houses to your uh, connected uh, city island. So while doing so, you will uh, get money. So uh, um, the game works through uh, three seasons. Uh, each season has a certain amount of round, depending on how many players uh, you, you know uh, plays the game. So three players, so you will have three rounds per season. On each round, you will basically roll all the dice, and starting with the, the first player, a player will take turns. And uh, by play, when you take a turn, you will basically have two uh, major things that you can do. You can fly your ship, uh, which you should. It's an optional, you don't have to, but you should. Uh, you fly to a new uh, island and basically connect it to your network. Okay. You can fly through um, treasure islands and collect, uh, tre uh, you know, parts of the treasure map. And uh, those also will give you some uh, victory points by the end of the game. And uh, after you sail, and I will, I will touch briefly on the sailing rules, uh, because there are some uh, you know, basic rules on how to sail and where you can sail from and through. And um, once you sail, you basically will take a die uh, from the paradise pool and that we just hold, I think. And um, yes, correct. And you pull off uh, and, and you do the action that you chose. So it's a dice driven game. So each turn you will choose one die and perform one action. And those, uh, as you can see, uh, those are prototype. Yeah, so I think that's very important uh, just to stop and mention that as Matt's showing off all the components and as we play through this game, this game is in a prototype phase, so these obviously aren't final components. Oh, definitely. Um, the board would be, uh, we have slight changes in the board design. The car design is definitely uh, progressed from uh, the copy you have, the same with the personal boards. Of course, all the information and you know everything that you need to find about how the game looks like in the final uh, is on PGG on our website. You can find it easily. All the information and the dice definitely looks much nicer <laughs> and than those that you have, but they they function, so we can play with them. So basically, um, you have um, three basic actions that you can do. Uh, on your turn. So uh, you can have the official, uh, which is the mask with the chain, uh, the official uh, action. Yeah. So with that, you can do either use one of the official that is on the display and they have basic actions. Uh, so you just do the action and then discard those cards. Yeah, you, can, you have four on displays on each uh, every time that you can choose from. And you can bribe, um, you know, the official permanently by, yeah, those are the officials. And yeah, you can see they have uh, a, a basic action on there. And oh, let's let's put that back up so that uh, Elad can show. So on the top there with just the gear, that's the basic action yes. for the official. And then below that, yes. that's that mask icon that matches the icon on the dice for this move. And that's the special that yeah. you can do if you have already bribed the official. Yeah. So once you, uh, you can either use this action for that specific, uh, the, no, the basic action, or you can bribe it. So in your future round, you can use the bribe action, even if this 
pirate is not on this plane because he's in your pocket basically so you can use the same die just to um, use this special action that you and other pirates that already paid him uh, in advance so the remainder of the game you have this special uh, special uh, action whenever you can choose this die and um, bribing is working with uh, you have a bribe table on on the ta on, on the board itself so um, let's take the i think it's the five queen mm -hmm. and so uh, you can see here typo on the board. So that's the official, and down is here is thing. where it matches on the yeah. bribe board here. Yeah, definitely. So in order to bribe him, you need to pay the amount shown on the left, uh, on the, you know, the lesser amount that you can. So it's seven gold, it will cost you. You place one of your uh, cubes there, uh, just to mark that you bribed it. And you also will grant it with five victory points, which is noted on the right hand of that same track. Yeah, correct. So I'm uh, once you've done that, on <laughs> so uh, once you've done that, on every uh, future uh, bribe token, uh, bribe die that you can pull, you can always use her special action or any other bribe uh, pirate that you already official that you already have in your pocket. Okay. So that's the bribe action. Um, you have the uh, the trading. Uh, or the trade house action, which basically you can in the new city island you can, that you just landed or you're already there, you can um, build or establish a new trade house of, of, of your color. And um, that trade house basically will be able in future terms to send goods from this trade house to the other uh, islands in your network. Um, the cost for the trade house is written on the island you are in and also the good that you get is also written on the island that you're in. So I think it's uh, I think it's a five there. Yep. Yes. So it's a five and the little uh, bomb icon there is for firearm. Yes, yes. So once you've done that, you can also update your personal board that you already built a new, um, a new trade house. So you will move and you put a cube uh, on the matching track. And so this board. is my player board right here. So let's say that it was my trade house that I was placing on Iona, and that is firearms. Yes. So I would move, this is my connection, so I would take one of my other cubes and put it on the first spot there. Yes, that's correct. So, uh, so you have one trade house firearms. This will be important in the in the next action that you can take. But this is a very simple action. You just build a new trade house, which is very important for the next action, which you, it's the profit action. Uh, you're basically sending goods and uh, from all of your trade houses to the uh, any 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 island that you already. Uh, in business with and you're making money this is the main uh, focus of the game is to make money okay so um, each trade house will send the goods and make money based on how many uh, connected islands you have in the same trading uh, type so if you have visited like in the far off uh, example you have one trade house and you have connected um, all four firearms you can see on the personal board that when you connect a new firearm, you move the connected, uh, that, uh, sorry, the profit margin on each uh, track. So, uh, which is the round marker. Uh, so, so let's say that I one had the one yeah, trade house, and then this is my connection tracker. So you're saying that I would move my connection tracker up one and this is going to start well, increasing? Yes, um, this is why it's very important to travel and make business with other, uh, connecting other uh, type of islands to your uh, already established trade house. So once you visit more and more and more, the income per trade house will con uh, increase uh, steadily. So if you are in a firearms, you will travel and, and meet uh, and do business with all four farms uh, islands, you will make for each trade house, you will make three gold. 
And when you do the profit action, you will move methodically from the call to the run, to the farms, to the automatons. So uh, each trade house will make money, plus you will get money for the basic uh, round value, which is uh, season value, sorry, uh, which is uh, written on the board. So the first round, it's two, uh, two gold, three golds, and four golds for the second and, fourth and third uh, season. So you will count, um, you will send good, you will count each trade house profit, you will sum it up and add the current season uh, gold value. Okay, and so if I have, profit. so if I've made uh, two connections here, I think the example in the, one of the examples in the book is pretty good. So what you're saying is, let's say I have coal and I have two, three trade houses, but I've made one, two, three, four, four connections, we'll say. So then for each of my trade houses, I'm going to collect two gold. So that's two, four, six. And let's say that I'm on season one. Over here is the season tracker and that tells you how much gold for each season. So if it's the first season, it's an additional two. So two, four, six plus two would be eight gold if I used that profit action. Yes. And okay. then you'd also yeah, get... Yeah. Well, you'd be getting gold for all of your goods, but assuming that you only had right. your yeah. coal, coal there. If you were the coal baroness. Well, I am. You didn't know that? Yeah, because yeah, you're... Because oh, bl yeah. it's black like my heart. Exactly. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> okay, uh, Elad, yeah, we have so, to uh, disconnect for one second. Uh, it looks like the video froze, so we're just going to reconnect with you in that uh, chat window. So you'll be back in just one second. I apologize for that. All right, so, uh, and I think that was a, a really good example to point out there. That's yeah. definitely the one that we were using when we were uh, reading through the rule book, and right. I think it clarified uh, a lot of things for us in terms of the... E especially the relationship between the trading houses and the connection manager. Correct, yeah. Because I think that wasn't as clear at the very beginning. So the connection manager really determines the multiple mm -hmm. that you're using, and the trading houses is how many you're getting... Uh, and I'm sure Elad's right. going to go over, there's more, the, it gets even a little bit more complex than that with these embargoes that I'm sure that he'll be talking about. Right. And so, I mean, we can touch on that briefly with just yeah. the fact that you see these little boats or frigates. frigates that we all have here. So this is Anne's, this is the, the Red Velvet Pirates. That's because Red Velvet Cake is the best. I do like Red Velvet Cake. So, so uh, Josh is the Black Sails. Because he's got a black heart. And it also kind of looks like a shovel, and you know how he kind of like pushes people around to tell them what to do. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the way he shovels food into his gullet. No, that was <laughs> that was Benitez salami. <laughs> that was so funny. And then uh, I'm playing fancy and as the so Octavians. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> Look at the little flag on the back. Don't mess with my ship. It's, it's like gorgeous. It's gorgeous. We fancy. Uh, but then we do have the. Uh, Oh, I forgot the name for it now. Uh, I want to say Imperial Ships, but that's not it. Stop! Now I, uh, no, one of them was the Flying Fortress. Right, but what's the name of them? Nope. In a okay. Yep, so one, I just forgot. One's the Flying Fortress, and this is the, the British Imperial Ship, which it's much larger than the other ones because, you know... It looks like a whale. Hail Britannia. I think that's the point is it's supposed to look like a whale. And what's really nice, and look, I don't know if the artist did this intentionally or not, is that it kind of has that bottlenose dolphin bit of a face eee. right and but then yeah. like the fence the railing around the front of it kind of reminds me of almost like um a whale's the the yeah the yeah the stuff in their mouth where they put the f the plankton through the teeth it's not teeth though teeth teeth yes it's not that either baleen yes thank you look somebody here's smart baleen. and then there's the um uh, the pirate ship which is the dreadnought Yes. So while the British ship is the big imperial fortress, uh, the Dreadnought is the agile, shifty... It looks like Mad Max. Yeah, it does look very Mad Max. I do like it. It kind of has that like pieced together uh, look to it, which is very piratey, right? Like oh, you yeah, get absolutely. your hands on whatever you can and you... Take what you can, give nothing back. That's yeah, right. Exactly. That's right. Uh, so they this one will be moving more spots, whereas this one uh, is just a big lumbering 
thing. Uh, so they do different actions, though. So they're going to be moving around the board autonomously, if you will, uh, based on what uh, bribe actions that we're doing, or the official actions. Yeah, so... Oh, Elad's back. Oh. Hello. Hey, Elad, we were just touching a little bit on the Imperial ship and the pirate ship and how that works with, like, the embargoes. We hadn't gotten yet... Flagships. To, flagships, that's it. We hadn't yet gotten to to how they impacted the embargoes. Or how embargo went worked. Oh, yeah. oh. Can you hear me okay? Because I'm uh, yeah. yep. just checking. I, yep. Yeah, I don't know what happens. It's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, so you have an embargo and you have a blockade. So both are quite different. And uh, so so the um, let's take the, the easier uh, one. Yeah, you have the... Um, the dreadnought, uh, it's the syndicate uh, flagship. Yes. This one just blockade, and uh, all the trade houses in, in this specific um, island, you cannot use them for the profit action. You cannot, uh, also, the flagship will affect your uh, sailing because you cannot fly through or fly to those islands. So they actually block you from heading to those islands or through them. So you need to pick another route, which I think we will focus on sailing uh, in a bit. And so this is the lovely Dreadnought. It's the fastest ship, by the way. It's, uh, and uh, we have the flying fort uh, ship, uh, which is the British uh, Empire uh, flagship. And this one, it's, uh, although it's bigger and stronger, uh, this one uh, has an embargo. So on every... Uh, type of island they, they sit on, uh, maybe right. from, maybe it's uh, coal, you cannot use, and no one can use uh, that trade good for this uh, round. Regardless of what island. So they don't just impact the island that they're sitting on. It's all the islands of that type. Of that type. So if it's on a rum island, so Gale, for example, then no one can profit uh, no from one. rum. All because right. There are ways to get around this if you have the right pirates in your pocket, of course. If you if you bribe the right people, <laughs> namely me, give me money. In. Nope, not for you. <laughs> not for you. So I think like uh, what is it? It's yeah, the it smuggler is. for the syndicate, and it's the portmaster for the British. That allow uh, you, uh, the, uh, or the merchant, the, the merchant. merchant. Yes, the merchant and the yeah, smuggler. And yeah, also you have the captain and the commodore, which are both uh, also can move uh, those ships during ah. your... So they can affect basically, uh, they can um, compensate or just capture a trade out that you think that you can, you know, use as a profit or uh, if you can see that an, another player, you can uh, try to, uh, you know, make him uh, not earn money from all of his rum island and stuff like that, so he can move either. And the Commodore is moving uh, along his course, uh, the flying fort, and the captain can change the course of the uh, Redna. Awesome. Okay, so we talked a little bit about what well, we went through, establishing, we went through the profiting. bribing, the officials, the profiting. Uh, I think it's time to talk a little bit about sailing. Yeah, sailing. Uh, cool. Um, so, um, of course, as I mentioned, you cannot uh, fly through or fly to an island that you already um, you know, have a flagship. Uh, a flagship um, can move into an island that you already have, but you can move from it. Obviously, you should. And... Uh, also, you can fly through those treasure islands to gain those uh, important map pieces. And how sailing it works, you can you can see those they have those uh, connected paths from each island. So you can move um, one to four island distance from your already uh, occupied uh, or, or already harbored island. So uh, distance is one to four, and the distance is depending on you. You basically will pay one gold uh, per island that you travel through. If you're flying through uh, a treasure island, you cannot stop 
add it, you can just move through it, but you still need to pay it for the distance. You need to pay gold for, you know, paying for all the coal. It costs you to run an uh, amazing airship. Also, um, you have uh, um, the wind affect your movement. Right, so you have one different die here than the action die, and that's got uh, that you're going to roll. So you've got, and it'll tell you the wind direction that you're going through, and then you've got that change wind direction, and that relates to this compass over here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So uh, basically, if you you will start the, the your movement with the direction of the wind, which may be north, west, south, east. Uh, and if you start your movement uh, with the wind, and then you get a discount because you're saving some money on that. Uh, and the discount is one gold. So instead of if you want to travel two islands uh, away, uh, instead of paying two gold, you pay one gold. It's great. So just to confirm, that's only off of your first movement on your sailing action. So if you want to yeah. go from, let's say, I can't read that from upside down. I can't read upside Lumen. down too well. If you want to go from Lumen over to, uh, it's a bad example. So if you want to go to, from Lumen to this one over here, you can either go down, uh, up, and back, or you can go up. I don't know. They don't yes. even connect that way. The up. There, there, there. Yes. But if the if the compass is pointing north, my first movement from here to here would be free then. So essentially I could yes. go one, two, uh, three, four, but I would only have to pay three gold. Yes. And it will affect by the those move flagship because it, you will be blocked from certain mm. directions. So they may change your course for sure. Okay. Very uh, once good. Once you land or harbor on a new, uh, you already you immediately connect it to your net. So you're doing business with the island that you you set foot in on on your final step. So it's very important where you land because it will affect your time. So once we stop at an island city, we're going to be dropping one of our cubes on it, and that's uh, us dropping anchor there. So then once we establish. Yes our uh, trade house there, we will be taking that cube, the Notorious Cube, and putting it in the bag, correct? Yes, and placing your trade house instead. So... Yeah, and we didn't mention the Notorious bag, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely bag, uh, filled with cubes from <laughs> each uh, faction, and also with the Syndicate. So uh, we didn't mention that, but at the start, you know, when you, you're setting up your uh, new round, when all the dice will be run out, um, for each die, uh, we didn't go over all of those dice, but this, yeah, it's, uh, this is a workout basically die that you can use it for, to use any of the action, but at the end of the round, uh, when you roll them up, whenever you pull up this uh, one of those uh, results, you need to pull one cube from the notorious bag and basically you're getting caught by the empire so uh, each cube you move out you will pay uh, the amount the gold amount the gold value for each season so if you're in a season three uh, for each cube that you pull you will pull three and this is a good example you pulled out um, the syndicate you have some syndicate uh, you know because they are doing all sorts all sorts of bad stuff you know. so, so they're the one that got caught not innocent. us yeah, yeah, this is the syndicate, yeah. So you, you, you are free to go. But, uh, obviously, as the game progress, you build more trade house, you will be, you will have uh, much more, uh, your chances to be caught is it's, it's, it's going up. So then a couple and of... In mind, you, need, you need to leave gold for those, for those fees or taxes or whatever you want to call them. So a couple of other modifiers that are in play. We've got uh, events that are going on. So we've got one event per season, correct? Yes. And so these events um, are... This is going to be what's in play for season one for us. Uh, so yeah. explain to me how this works. Okay, so uh, um, basically it's uh, this is the story part of the game. And you will... Uh, by placing the flagship on the origin 
So in this, um, so the dreadnought in this, you, you have two sections of the car. So the top section is the syndicate story, and the bottom section is your uh, uh, bridge section of the dreadfall by this story, uh, which you can read it because I don't. So the Dreadnought one, the great composer has just arrived to Blackfall. So I'm going to take my, my Dreadnought ship here, and we're going to place it in the origin city of Blackfall. He was invited to the Pirate Syndicate's yeah. Autumn Ball. But as he searched for his new masterpiece, he noticed that he is missing some pages. You must dispatch the fastest ship to get the missing notes from Rose Castle before the guests arrive. Which so is... the Dreadnought will be moving towards the Rose Castle uh, as this progresses, and it's going to move uh, based on the uh, official actions that are taken. Yeah, uh, she will move definitely, but in, in the refresh phase, once you finish all the dice, uh, she will move once, for sure. So it's it's a steady way that it, she will progress. But if you will use, uh, for this instance, captain action, you can help her reach it faster. They sh you, you can move it one or two spaces uh, along the, you know, uh, its route. Whenever you help her to reach the, her, uh, to her mission destination, you will place one of your cubes on those tracks. And the one that helped the most will gain, I think it's uh, five points by the end of this season. You can compete with each other, of course. Okay. And the so dreadnought we're, and the we're showing support, right? By helping them get to their destination faster, so they're rewarding us. And they always take the shortest route from island to island. Mm -hmm. Always, yes. Uh, and then the uh, the British one is judging the book by, and that's the Supreme Court Judge of Nebula. So that's going to be where they start. Uh, yes. decided that she wants to inspect her retirement house in uh, Concona. Please arrange the Flying Fort Escort, she ordered. When she arrived to check the new house, she encountered the tainted odor of rotten oak barrel. Set sail to Lumen, <laughs> she commanded furiously. He shall pay. So it's going to start at Nebula, go to Concona, and then after that, set sail to Lumen afterwards. That's correct. It's quite a journey. So I'm assuming then that this one is only going to resolve once it gets to the final destination of Lumen? Yes, yes. Okay. And same thing here. If you, uh, if you get one of the British officials during that phase, it's going to move them. And again, these ships will move at the end during the refresh phase of all three rounds that we're going to be doing each season. Yeah, they will move uh, mandatorily. Uh, you know, mandatorily is a good name. So they, they will move one one island space uh, distance every end of the round. So uh, in a three player game, they will move three uh, spaces. Uh, and you should leave those set up. Players, they will move two spaces each round. Is this where they so start? With... Yeah, so that's going to be where they start because this is the event for uh, round one for or season one for us. Okay. Yeah, okay. And you can all, already see that the. It starts the flying fort starts on Nebula, which is a round island. You cannot trade for profit from round on your very Ooh, first round. So that's this true. This is how the mid effect of those uh, two flexions. So the dreadnought Why is on Blackfall, which has the autonom the uh, automatons. But the dreadnought only blocks the houses of the island that it's on. Right, and not houses. not the whole thing. Right. Okay. All right, so then finally we've got goals as well. So uh, can you explain to me how the goals work, Elad? Yeah, uh, the cards are, will affect the end game scoring. Uh, each has an achievement that you're trying to reach, which is, let's see, the notorious one is, is basically the player with the most notorious uh, cubes in the bag at the end of the game. So You've got to be the, the most the notorious game, evil pirate. Yeah, the notorious uh, B.I.G., if you will. <laughs> So uh, and, uh, we so you just you just yeah uh, we have three goals in play throughout the game, correct, Elad? Yeah, uh, one will affect uh, your status. One will affect how how many connected islands uh, you will have. And third goal uh, would be, I think, it's the British uh, yeah established. 
that will be most connected adjacent to houses. So you're trying to build a network that is actually adjacent to each other. And the loyalist will award you if you have the most uh, bribe official British officials at the end of the game. Specific. And there's first place, second place, and third place. For each of those goals. For each yeah. of those positions. Yeah, I they, they will, they, they will, yeah, it's a, it's a part, uh, lifetime achievement, let's say. <laughs> All right, so are we ready to jump into it? Are there any other rules that we need to go over before we begin? Uh, the, the wind chase at the end of each round, and you roll, roll everything, you move the flagships, and um, at the end of each season, you will uh, pull up uh, a new event and reset the flagship, and you basically will reset... Uh, uh, most of the stuff uh, that you have, uh, you starting with I think uh, it's nine gold, I think uh, depending on the turn order. And yeah, so um, I believe that it is that we start with not the first player is going to start with nine gold, ten gold for second player, eleven gold for third player. Okay. And uh, we just have to randomly assign first player. You. Yay! How random was that? I'll be second player. <laughs> now you've got 11 points. Look, yeah, Josh already I, I put 11 on his board. If we will start something, then, yeah. Okay. I think that the best way to learn any game, Matt... Is to just dive right in. Is to dive right in. Off the... The... Off the, the deck. Yeah, well, I'm going to make you walk the plank. Oh, thank you. You're That's welcome. So kind of um, you. Do we start off a house in our stern location? Yes, I believe we, we do... Yes. During the setup, we do start with a house in our starting location there yeah, which is so because of that we're each going to have a uh, trademark um, uh, I forget the name of that that symbol again the uh, trading house. Uh, on our boards we're trading each gonna house. have the the house one as well as a connection marker or just the trading house yes. both will be moved for the, for the first position Okay, perfect. So if we were to trigger the uh, profit right off the bat, we will be getting... One times one. One times one, plus? which is one plus two for the uh, season, season gold. goal. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and roll... I roll all the dice, including the wind die as well, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Did okay. you roll off screen so that everybody knows you cheated and exactly. you're setting up these dice to exactly what you want them to be? I'm glad you know what I'm up to. You know? Okay, so we've got... Wow, there are four profit ones. Yep. Money, so money. Set that off to the side. Uh, the wind's going to start blowing to the west. So that gets resolved immediately, correct? Yeah, yeah, you just move... It's easy. You just move the, the, the compass uh, heading... In handing a token there to the west, so now it's much easier to go west side. Okay, so we've got four profit die. We've got one wild, which means we're going to draw a cube. This is this should be part of the setup. So for the first season, you, for the first round, you will not put anything from the back. Oh, okay. It will, and by the way, you need to put one of your, uh, each of your motors in the bag because you already have one coal. Correct. Yeah, we, we did that during the setup. So we have the wild octopus there. We've got the uh, the establish, so we can establish a house, a trade house, and then there is an establish or profit action. So since I am yeah. the first player, uh, I'm going to... Well, actually, can we show off the official cards before... I choose my action here. Can You're trying maybe, to figure out your strategy? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out my strategy. strategy. I want to see what I want to do. Is there a bribe option on the board, though? Or there's the wild, right? There is a wild, so I can do it with that. So there's the pirate queen. So if you were to bribe her, uh, you can just I can just bribe her. Or I can use that action, which is perform a, uh action of any pirate character. So we've got those on our sheets here. So that's the basic action for any of the five pirate characters, which is on our sheet. So the barkeep, smuggler, charter, captain, or pirate queen. Uh, then we've got the smuggler, so I can uh, perform a profit action and ignore the dreadnought embargo. That's That's nice. not going to be any help right now. Uh, then on top of that, there's the uh, judge. You could, you could. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, the smuggler has a 
you know you see the bribe action so you can bribe it for the, you, you can you can you can ignore the dreadlock and the flying fortress if you bribe him so right so if i set up the bribe that might be good to do down the line uh then there's the judge which is draw two notoriety tokens take one token and return it to their owner return the other token to the sack so i'm thinning out the uh, notorious sack and somebody's getting caught of your choice oh that's what it is okay mm -hmm. hmm. and so you can affect the, the outcome of the and the serious, uh, you know goal cost so you're, and you're bribing the judge the to see who's one, guilty the bribe one is you can draw three tokens and take one or two and then return the other one. So you can really be mean there. I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, then there's the captain. So advance the dreadnought one space. Place one of your tokens on the acting event card. And then the uh, the bribe action there is advance the dreadnought up to two spaces and place a token on the event card. So that's a way for you to uh, advance it a little bit further there. So and give people less chance to yeah, advance it. Get those five victory points. Yeah. You want me to give those? Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do... Now, what do you, you you rolled seven die in addition to the wind die. So right. do you you don't get to do all no, of this so action. No, so I'm going to take my turn for... My, my round first. So yeah. I get to do my sail action if I want. You don't have to. Sail? And then I can pick one of the die and do that action. Then it's going to pass one. to the next player. Yeah. You're going to have the same option. We're just going to keep progressing down the line. Is it the same die pool, or yes. do I get to reroll? Same, same, same die pool. Okay. So then once all the dice are used, then it'll go to the next round. So okay. if you realize seven's not divisible by three, Is so not, not everyone's going to get a turn, the same number of turns. Can we have you be the person that doesn't get a turn? I don't know how to do math. I think that starts no, now. As first player, I'm always going to have the most turn. What? Uh, it's going to transition to you. You only have time, nine so. bucks, so that's fine. I'm okay with this. This is a game about money. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bribe the judge. Which die are you going to be using? The to only do die that? I can use. Which is the wild card. Is the, uh, but you're staying, the in octopus your ta you're staying in town? No, I'm not going to do that. You're right. I need to move. So, because it's west. Yeah. And you can't go anywhere west. Well, yeah, I guess Lumen is west. That's east. That's east. So, like I said, Matt, Delphi is west. It is. And while rum would be nice, I think I'm going to be the uh, the arms dealer here. So I'm going to go over to Concona uh, because I see that that's going to have the, the frigate on it at some point. Not the frigate, the, uh, the flying fortress. Yeah. So... I want to get it before it moseys its way over there. So, Concona is a firearm city with a cost of five. Yeah, sure is. Uh, you didn't have to spend anything to go west here. Right, because I'm sailing on the wind. Uh, and you just get to drop anchor here for free, right? But it's right. the trade house is what get, is, triggers the cost. That's correct. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to drop anchor there. So, I'm going to put my cube on the board and then I'm going to increase my connection track by one for the firearms. And then then I'm going to go ahead and use the wild card action to bribe the judge. The judge costs three, so I'm going to reduce my gold. No, the judge costs four. Four? Oh, four. I, okay. So I'm going to reduce my gold oh, by four. gain points. Oh, okay. Got it backwards. Three so points. I'm going to gain three points One, there. two, three. And uh, then the judge is going to get removed from the pool. No, because a second yeah, person can... Yeah, it and replace it. Oh. So, Josh, what is he getting replaced with? Uh, the governor. Governor. Um, he's keep British. Keep a separate discard pile, Josh. Oh, a separate discard pile? Yeah, because yeah. we have... First of all, he's British, so it's not the governor. It's the governor. It's the governor. And the governor is discard the governor card, is his basic action. What? And then the bribed action is discard any character card on display and gain two gold. So this is a, a nice bribey card there. What do you mean it's a good? Well, yeah, I guess because you get two, you get two gold for describe, yeah. discarding the card. But that and means that since I have the seven victory points. Oh, that's true. oh yeah. Look down here. Yeah, seven victory points. But also, it's good because if you see that I've got the judge out. Yeah. You know, you can you can possibly have the governor be like, I don't I don't like that. Governor says no. Go away, judge. Well, let's discard the card, but you've already bribed the judge, so you can use the judge's bribe action whenever. He doesn't have to be back out as an official, right? 
That is a good question. Um, once you bribe, you can always use his bribe back. Oh. Okay, that makes me feel better. So this is just like if you see something in a pool that's going to benefit somebody else, right? you can make it go away. Right. All right. Plus yeah, seven it's, victory it's, points. It's, it's very powerful. Yeah, very powerful. He makes people go away, Matthew. Gavna. Gavna. And it's your turn. It's my turn. Okay, so the first action is the sale action. Right. And how did you lose so much money? I, I, start, with I start with nine, and then I spent four to bribe the judge. Oh, okay. Um, now I can I can I occupy the same city as you? No, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can. You, you can. You can. Do I want to? You just can't occupy the That's same the city. Question. We can't move on to the same city as one of the, the, uh, flagships. the flagship. Flag so I think I'm going to go west, young man. Okay. You're gonna be the rum queen. I think I might be the rum queen. Rum Quain. Quain. Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to go head on over to Delphi, and then I'm going to drop my anchor there. Uh, it's west, so I don't pay anything for my movements. Faux free. Um, one, two, three. I can't go here. One. I couldn't go anywhere else. Correct. One, two, three. So could I pay if I I can I can only drop anchor where I land, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you have to stop there? Okay. So one, two, three, four. That doesn't make sense. Okay. So I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna spend money on movements. So how much money do I spend for each move? One gold. One gold for each move. But and if you're traveling, if your first move is in the direction of the wind, you don't pay the first gold. And then I can, I spend one gold for each movement, and it's a maximum of up to four moves. That's correct. Yep. So including my free move. Yes. Yep. Okay. So one, two, three, four. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go from Delphi, which is west, so that's nothing. I'm gonna go down to. Uh, Frindel, I'm going to pass through the Treasure Island. And that means that I can yes. pick up my little treasure. You collect one of the... Yes. yes. Then, then you're going to finish your movement over um, on... Unfortunately, I'm not picking up the lovely tabletop talisman meeple that's available in bracelets, necklaces, and all the stuff on Shameless our store. Shameless plug. Oh, yeah. Shameless. Okay. Uh, so I'm picking up my treasure, and then I'm going to drop anchor on Mistral, which is also rum... And it's also, oh look, the cost for the rum here is two instead of five. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the crappy rum. It's the bottom shelf. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gives me money. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna put my my little meeple here on my treasure hunt counter, and the it's this is a little bit almost reminds me of set collection where this goes up exponentially for uh, points. Yeah. So if I get all four, it's ten ten points. Uh, so I'm here, and then I I can't use the profit. Can use the profit. Oh, uh, and do nothing with this it. This goes up one. You would get three coins if you get profit. How would I get three coins? You get two stop. coins for the round that you're on. Yeah. For the season, rather. Yeah. Then you will get one coin for your coal. coal. Oh, my coal. Okay, well, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to take the establish, and I'm going to pick up my anchor, and I'm going to put down a house. Okay. So I'm picking up my cube. It goes in the bag. Oh, okay. It goes in the bag, and Just then I'm going to put... who's got the judge, dearie. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to put my establish right there on my rum tracker, and I'm going to hold that die. Did you use all your money? Um, I had ten. So then... You spent oh, two for your way. movement. Uh, one... Two, three. three. I spent three, three for, for my movement. Five total. You should have five left. Stop with the talking of the mouth hole. Okay. So ten minus three is seven because <laughs> I do that for a living and then I spent two. So boom, boom, I'm at five. So something interesting to make a note of is that uh, if you can't pay for a uh, being caught, uh, you have to sell off your trade houses. It's very Monopoly. Yeah. yeah. The other interesting thing is you're only going to be able to pull profit next time and you can't profit off your rum. Yeah, I know, but this is gonna move. Not before Not you pull before you go another turn. Dies. Whatever, Joshua. So then, don't take this one. Take one of these so that I can use my establish action. No, I'm establishing. You establish nothing. 
the I'm little gonna, tiny T-Rex. I'm going to sail you over could, here. You think you would ask me to move it? No, no, no. Did you need something over there? Does your uh, counter go up again for rum since you did a trade house or no? No. I only have one no. trade house and one connection. It's, it's okay. You don't get it. I thought you got a connection when you did a trade When house. you dropped anchor? Or when you did a trade house too. Do you oh. increase the good track when you select when you do a trade house as well? Oh, so she should be at yeah, Well, you land them. When you land them, then you need your trading marker one and then your house is moving once you build it. So, yeah. Oh, move, so move. so my connection move. man my so for rum I'll have one trade house, but my connection tracker will be on the second island on the player board. On the first, because this is the first ROM island that you landed on. So, okay. so yeah, yeah, the connection's just first. what you so anchor on. Okay. Ram, okay. Yeah, you will gain potentially from this trade house uh, one gold. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to drop anchor. You paid your money. I paid my one gold because I want west. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I will take this and uh, I'm going to make myself a house. You're establishing yourself. And that's only going to cost me two. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to pass over to moi. Yes. And, uh, well, there's um, not exactly. You're going to do a profit, a profit, or a profit, Matt. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to sail west for free. I'm going to drop anchor there. So I'm going to increase my track by one, and uh, do that instead. And uh, then I'm going to can profit. Did you did you place a trade house? I don't see that on the new. Yeah, I I placed the uh, the track the uh, no, I'm token there. So I'm going to go ahead and profit. I'm going to get. One times one for Why my Why don't coal. you move that into the green screen so that we can see how to calculate this? Because it's just Cause a it's little... it's going to get messed up. Well, then you fix it. And then the world's a better place, Matthew. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little close. Um, that's why I didn't want to do it. Sorry. Right now. Yeah, well. Uh, so the coal, I have two s trackers on there, uh, two links. So I'm going to... It's still only a one. So one times one house is one gold. I don't have houses for any of the other ones, so that doesn't really help me out. Uh, but I'm going to then get an additional uh, two, gold. two gold for the round. Uh, I'm sorry, the season that we're at right now. So uh, I'm going to get a total of three gold from that. Matt, what season is it? Season one. Oh, is it fall, spring, summer? Oh, uh, it's one. Season one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, season one. All right, and then it's going to pass over to you, Anne. Okie dokie. Uh, so I'm going to move west over here to Iona, which is the firearms one. Go ahead and drop anchor there. So then I will move my firearms connection manager up one, connection tracker, up one. Uh, and then I'm going to take the profit, the profit, profit, or profit. And let's see, I now have a trade house in coal and I have a trade house in rum, but because uh, the fortress is over here in Nebula, which is a rum island, I won't be able to profit off of my rum. I will be able to profit off of my coal, which is one and one, which is one. Right. In case you were wondering, one times one is one. Right. Uh, plus two for the season, I will also get three. So I go from five gold to eight gold. All right. So then it's going to go over to Josh's turn. Josh, are you moving at all? Yes, I'm going to sail south. Uh, two islands. Okay, so you're going to go to this one down here. Frindell. Yeah. Going to drop anchor. Okay. Uh, that means my connection goes up one. And you're going to profit yet again. And I'm going to profit. I actually get two gold per a... He thinks he's so cool. Coal, so I'm going to get four. Because he's got two supply houses. Because i got two supply houses. Yeah. And then I'm going to get two for the season, so that's six. Yep. So it's going to put me up to 13. Uh, I am going to follow Josh, so I'm going to go down to Frendel also. That'll cost you two gold. It is, and I'm going to drop anchor there. It's going to cost me two gold. I go up one on my coal tracker. Then I'm going to take the last available action die, which is a profit, and I've got one supply house times two now, so that's two plus two is four, so I'm going to gain four gold in toto. Okay. So that moves me up to ten. I would walk 500 That's miles. That's not Toto. 
All right, so that's going to be the end of the first round. So go ahead and uh, increase the round by one. And so this is the refresh phase here, correct? Yes. Okay, so walk me through again. New first player. Okay, so first player is going to pass over to Anne. And so when you roll the dice this time, for every octopus that you roll, you're going to reach into the bag and draw one of the notoriety cubes. Do I roll the dice first or last? And then also we're going to move these I bad boys. It, I think it's last. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, you move the flagship first. Okay. And then you roll. So the flagship, there's three players. So doesn't the number of players impact how fast the ships move? Kind of. And... Um, in a two-player, I mentioned it as a side note, in a two-player, they move twice. Ah, okay. But in a three- and four-player, it will move differently. It's, it, it's uh, those side quests are changing volume with the number of players. It just opens a new uh, strategy for, for a four-player. Okay, so in then in this... It's, it's kind of less, uh, you know, uh, important. Harder to get it into the right place, but manipulating those movements are actually crucial, more than you might think, more than those four or five points. Okay. Okay, so we're going to move these, and I believe the Flying Fortress moves one space while the Dreadnought moves two? Yeah. Okay. So we are now out of Nebula and into Ventus. So we've gone from rum to firearms. Okay. And the mm -hmm. we're going from Blackfall down to the Rose Castle. So we're going to go from Gale to uh, Kildare. Go Is it going to go that way or? Correct. Knock over everything. It's going over here. Yeah. Right. So, so there's no connection point. points uh, if you get over there. So it'll probably go over to this yeah. island right there. So they're both going to be at just a, a quick note. A, a quick note that um, with your uh, event that you got, it's actually moved only one space to the window, Ooo. not two. So it, it, okay. even though the rules are moving it twice, it, it, because you have a, a older version of, of the event card, it, it might move only once. So keep it okay. in mind. So sorry about that. Okay. All right. So then, so then it's only moving once from Black Fall to Fell. Yeah. Okay. So then that puts it on coal. So I'm really happy, Josh, that you put so much money and effort into getting coal. It only affects that Shh. space, though. Shh. Joshua. Yeah. It doesn't I'm, I'm perfectly Shh. fine. Matthew. <laughs> I can't. Can I bomb towns? Like that's part of it. Bomb all of Joshua's towns. I mean, you'd miss probably just like you missed that rule. <gasps> You're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, roll dice. The so roly poly, Anne. Did, was there any? Eleventh official. Was there anything else that needs to be done during the refresh phase? Rolling the dice. Uh, no, just roll the dice and move the first player. All right. Have so. Have any octopuses? Octopi. We're going north. Okay, so that means that moving north will be cheaper. And I've got two establishes, so many profits. My OCD is kicking in, Just and so two you know, mixed ones. There's more profits oh on gosh. that die. There's two profit there was. things, so they're weighted heavy in the profits. I uh, like how you push. This one should be. Sorry. I was yelling at Josh. I liked how he pushed them all the way to the other side of the thing, and Josh's got these the tiny T Rex dice? arms, and he can't reach them. No, I'm enjoying this. Okay. So there's no official yeah, actions okay. available. Yeah, I think the dice should have the, the splitted actions. There should be uh, a trade house and official. And it's, it's, I think, the sort, sort of a type on those dice. Because, uh, oh, so you're saying that split action split. should be the house slash official, yeah. not uh, house yeah, slash exactly. profit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll make a note of that. So moving forward, we'll use the official action instead of the profit action on those. Yeah, so and what's going to? I didn't see it. It shows it's more on my screen. So. <laughs> so and what's going to be? Well, first you have to sail. She doesn't have to sail. You she don't have. That's true. You don't have to sail. You could, you could stay just put. Stay put. 
<laughs> Red Velvet. Um, I mean, you can go north one spot for free and go back to where you started. Yeah, that sounds like a silly idea. I mean, I didn't say it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I can't move that far. One, two... This is the analysis, paralysis yeah, portion one, of the game. Two, three. I think I'm okay with this. Okay. I'm going to go three spaces. Haven, Concona, up to Blackfall. Which is only going to cost you two gold because you went north initially in the direction of the wind. So I'm going to go from eight to six gold. I'm going to drop anchor here. And then I'm going to take... Oh, that's going to move my connection thing up one for the automatons. That is correct. And I actually think that it's... Hmm, do I want to pay? I don't have enough for that. Okay, I'm going to take the establish one. Okay. I'm going to go from six to three, and I'm going to put a house here at Blackfall. Okay. I'm All happy right. with that choice. So, Josh, it's now your turn. It's my turn. That's what I said. Hmm. I kind of want to stay still. So what are you thinking? I'm going to move east two spaces. Okay, so that's going to cost you two gold. So you're going to go from Iona? No, I'm, I'm going through the treasure. Oh. Fine. He gets so angry. He does. <laughs> I want my treasure. Because he's rude. And you're going to wind up at Mistral. Ta-da. So I get one rum in my trade network. Correct. Yep. And then I am going to take this, and I'm going to bribe the uh, Pirate Queen. You have That's going to cost you seven gold? Yeah, that's fine. You have seven gold? I had 11 gold after the move. I'm down to four. Okay. I don't know. That's fine. I don't know if that's right. I don't know. So the pirate queen. And you're going to get five victory points for that. One, two, three, four, five. And up next came out the charter. So the charter is going to be perform an establish action or perform mm. an establish action without paying a notoriety. Placing. Placing a notoriety token in the bag. That's neat. That is neat. Okay, so it is my turn. It now. is. So, what do I want to do here? Okay. Hmm. Anne's broke. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. <laughs> I have three gold. Sure, that's good. I'll let you have that. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. And I'm going to take the combo action there. Okay. And I'm going to use the established portion of that. Uh, so I'm going to use. So we're going to take this nice purple little right. cube Throw right that there. In the bag. And now you'll have one more connection on, uh, Frindel in, or you'll have a trade house established for your coal network. Right. So then I'm going to spend two gold for that. So I am now down to eight, and that's going to end my turn there. All right. So I already have that there. I have three gold. <laughs> Anne isn't broke. She's financially challenged. Thank you. So where are you sailing to, Anne? Uh, I can't go any more north, unfortunately. And you can't go any east either. So I'm going to go west here to Azura. That's two. I'm going to go, which means I'm going to go from three to one gold, mm -hmm. which is fine. And I'm going to pick up my treasure right there. That our meeple's so much heavier. It's like there. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to drop anchor in Azura, which will move my connection up one in coal. That's it. And then I'm going to take the profit action. Because you broke. Because I broke. All right, so the profit action, you're going to get... Uh, one coal... I have... Yeah, my, my connection manager is in the second island, which is still a one. Um, and I have one trading house for coal. So one times one. Is one. Okay. Uh, rum 
It's the same thing. One so that's two. One. I don't have any uh, trading houses on firearms, which is fine. What about automatons? Uh, and I have one trading house on automatons, so that's three. Uh, plus two for the season is five. It takes me back up to six. Cool. Cool story, uh, bro. You've been flying around like crazy, Ann. Yep. Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> All right, so then, Josh, it's going to pass over to you. So where are you going? Uh, I'm going to fly uh, north. I like how you did air quotes with that. It's so I'm assuming to that one right there. And then, and then I'm going to actually fly back to where Matt is. So I'm going to spend one. <laughs> okay. Right, I just made a circle. I'm going to take this establish yeah. and uh, get some get some more coal. Uh, so that's two, right? Yes. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and what am I going to do? Hmm. That's free, but it's going to cost me more in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fly yep. two spaces to the east. I'm going to go across the treasure here. So everyone's explored that island. We all know it's there. And I'm going to go over to the rum capital right there. Mistral. Um, hmm. And you're going to drop hold anchor on, there? On. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. No, you know what? No, I don't. You want to tell me? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move one more space north. So that's going to be three movement for me. And cost two? Yeah. No, no, no. Cost three. I went east originally. Ah. Uh. Um, and then I'm going to drop anchor there. Okay. So that's going to give me another one on the firearms track. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to do a profit action. I don't really have a choice there. <laughs> so I have two trade houses for coal times two, so that's four. I can't profit from anything else because I don't actually have any houses on anything else. Uh, so that's four plus two, so I got six. Okay. So where does that put you with your bank? At 11. All right. Not terrible. Uh, I am going to stay where I am. I'm going to spend... Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Uh, this is <laughs> This fun. is financially challenged. This is financially challenged. I can't establish anything. So what do you I want to do? You can't establish anything either because you have a stock check. I, uh, <laughs> this I know. So, but if I, so, I want be. I have trade houses on three of my things. So, what I want to focus on now is increasing my multiplier if I can for the items that I can increase it by. So, my options right now really are rum, firearms, rum, coal, yada yada. Uh, if I go, n I can't go there. So, I'm gonna have to spend money to move to increase my trackers and the most effective one is going to be firearms but I don't have that and it's blocked after that it's automatons but the next two south, automatons is all house. the way over here one two three the rum would move it up one coal would move it to a multiplier of two you know the jeopardy theme song Josh do 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 <laughs> so I'm going to I think I fly south going to fly south for the winter. <sighs> no, actually... So I it is winter. <laughs> I think I'm going in one big circle, and I'm, go I'm going back east. Why are you going back there? Because the I've got treasure places over here She's and stuff. She's going for the treasure. Okay, but you can't drop ship there because you already have a building there. So it's not going to help the multiple... The whole thing you were just calculating. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. So what if I go here? You can go there. That's fine. I just that, saying. Is that like, acceptable? Is that okay with you, Joshua? <laughs> I just want to make sure it's okay with you. Okay, so here's a question. And I don't think I'd run into the problem, it but it's curious. moves onto you, nothing happens. Oh, okay. You can't move on to the same space as it. So one, two, three. I've moved to Kildale. It's cost me three gold. I go from six to three. I'm going to... Drop anchor. I'm going to drop anchor. Um, that's going to increase my connection for coal to three, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to profit. Mm -hmm. So three, at, uh, two for one trade house, two, one for one trade house is one, 
And one for one trade house is one. So two, four. three, four, five, six. Yay. And then it puts me up to nine dollars. Gold. Dollars. Gosh, doubloons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So that was all of the action. So it's going to progress to round number three. So this is the last round for season one. So Josh is going to be first player now. So uh, now we have to refresh. So it's going to move the uh, Flying Fortress. Okay. So it's going to move on to the same. Uh, I'm sorry. It's going to move on to Gale there. Yep. And then the Dreadnought is going to move right there. So we cannot profit off of rum this round. And now Josh is going to uh, go ahead and roll. And what direction is the uh, wind going? North. The wind to be blowing north still. Gyar. And we got uh, one octopus. Gyar, one octopus. We've got two combos. Okay. So again, that's the uh, establish and official... Three profit and then one official. Okay. So the because you got the wild, now you get to reach into the bag and pull a cube out. I hope he pulls a black cube out. Gar, the black I really, cube. really hope he does. Don't look in the bag. That's cheating. Like I can see. He can't Was tell the difference the of the way? colors anyway. He's just dropping stuff on the floor. Did you really? Um, I think there might be a hole in the bag. There's one on your jeans. Yep. There's Joshua. A, there's a hole in the bag. Oh, we have we have a bag error. There's a hole in the bag. <laughs> yeah, that's where you stick your hand in oh, and pull no. the cubes no, no, out. No, of. there's a little hole at the bottom. Ah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, there you go, Anne. It's red. One of yours. So, Anne, I you have to pay. Like you dug around for that red one, and I would like a recount. You get to pay two gold now, Anne. All right, fine. Eight seven. All so right. To be you. So Josh gets to go first. So Josh, where do you like to move to? I am. Where am I? I'm You're over here. I'm over there. You I can could, benefit from the north. I could move north one, and then the. I already have something built there, so there's no reason to go there. Let's just at least move north one. Okay. If that doesn't hurt. I mean, it might hurt. Um, it's gonna give me another rum. Uh, can you move that, please? I would like you to put a little more effort Sorry. into it. <laughs> so when I use the Pirate Queen's action, I can perform any of them, not the ones just in display. The, the top one. Perform the action of yeah. any pirate character. That's correct. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm oh, going to... So I have her bribed, so if I I can use another action. Mm -hmm. And let's move the uh, I'm going to move that dread of uh, the big guy. The flying fortress? Flying fortress. Can't do that. Why? How are you I doing can't that? Use, I can't use her ability to use the... That's not a pirate. Oh, it's only pirate? Only pirate. Oh, sorry. Burr, burr, burr. Yeah. You, you can use... You can just move the, the, okay. move the dreadnought, yeah. Dreadnought, okay. Um, I'm actually I'm gonna use the smuggler. So ability. that is perform. I'm sorry, perform a profit action and ignore the dreadnought embargo. So you get you get to profit off your rum. Which dreadnought. That's the flying fortress. The dreadnought embargo is oh, only sorry, the on right. Ventus. Yeah. yeah. That which doesn't matter. So, but I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the wild action for that. Take that away from you guys. Um, the other thing that. is, since I'm using her special ability, I get to Take. one of my treasure maps off the board. What? I get to collect one of my treasures. Gain one treasure map. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna gain this one over here. That makes sense. And then. I profit, so I get two times two is uh, three times two is six plus two, so eight. Okay, how much gold do you have then? Um, I'm about to nine now. Wow. So I was down to one. That was good. All right, so are you done? Maddie Cakes? Yep. It's okay, your so turn. it's going to jump over to me now. Stop playing with stuff. Uh, I'm going to. 
I'm going to move east. I'm going to go one, two, three spaces over here. Okay. And I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to drop my anchor. I move three, so I'm going to drop down to eight. And then I'm going to... Increase use... your connection manager on your firearm. Yes, thank you. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use an establish action. But let me give me give me the combo action. There is no other establish action on the board, Matt. Yep. Besides the combo. So okay, this goes into one. the notorious <laughs> bag, and any one of your houses, poor favor. All right, so that's going to go right there, and then I get to put a token there. Cool. So that was my turn there. Alrighty. Um, do I want to get another trade house in? Cold? No, you do, you definitely don't want to get another trade house. I don't actually think that I do. I'm gonna go south twice because I can't go north. Uh, that's gonna cost me two seven six five. I'm gonna drop my anchor there on peak view, and then I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna take that other establish, and I'm gonna pay. Sorry, Josh. Three. That'll take me down to two, to do the establish. For peak view, that'll increase my trade house up one and my connection up one. Okay. Right. Joshua. So I'm going to. I'm gonna move. You're gonna move four like a cow. North. One, two, three. Four. Which way north are you going, buddy? That That's east. Four. Hate to break it to you. I, I'm just going out the other track. Okay. I, that wasn't English. And I collect my other treasure. Okay. I am then going to drop acre. So my coal goes up another one. Mm -hmm. And then I will do another bribe action. Do I want any of these guys? I don't know what you're going for there, buddy. Take everything away from anybody else just because, regardless of the cost to myself, and hope that my 10 victory points is going to work for me in the end. Um, nah. I'm going to activate the queen again. I'm going to get my last treasure. And then I'm going to do the profit action again. So I'm going to get another eight. How did you get to do the profit action because again? Because he's performing the action of the uh, the smuggler. Yep. So perform ah. the profit action. All right. Stop playing with the dice. All right. Don't, don't, don't let him have dice. He's not like allowed. Like a child. All right, so it's back over to Lil Ome. Yep. Hmm, where am I? You're over here on Rose Castle. Okay. So I'm going to... The wind's pointing north. I'm going to go ahead and go up to this guy here. Sure. So this is Stratos, which is a coal. Right. So, um, cube. But then I'm immediately going to... Oh, I can't establish. So I have to put something there. Here, you could use that. Is this? Yeah. All right. All right. Make sure my ship... Be, it's a pretty ship. I want people to yeah, see it. Yeah, but it's it's like in the way it's of okay. stuff. It's just uh, so I'm going to increase my coal track again by one. I, do I have the right number on the coal? I just... I feel like I'm, I I hit it before, so I have one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Okay, I should be one up. Okay, and so then I'm going to do a profit action. There you go. So I have three. I only have one house on the coal. On four. No, I have two houses on the coal. Cool. So I have three times two, so that's six. Mm -hmm. And then I now finally have a house on the firearms, so that's two times one, so that's eight, plus two more for the current round, uh, the current season, so that's two more, so that's ten. So I'm going to increase by ten. That's pretty good. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Do I have... Such a friendly pirate. Uh, meh. Meh. <laughs> meh. Okay, so it's my turn... And I can go north. You can, but you're not going to. Um, I have two bucks. Two buck chuck? Yeah, but I think I am going to, actually. So I'm going to go north, because that's my free one to Rose Castle. Mm -hmm. And then I could do 
one, two, and then it broke. One, two, pick up my little Merple. Pick up your shoe. One, two, pick up my shoe, and then I'm going to drop anchor. We're going to use this to drop anchor in the rum place. That'll move me up one on the rum tracker. I'm going to take that profit action. Mm -hmm. So I only have one coal house that's worth two. I have one rum house that's worth Nothing. one. Oh, that's right, because it's the dreadnought. Or the uh, Flying Fortress has got the embargo there. Correct. I have no firearm houses, and I have two automaton houses, which is four points. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Take to eight. Okay. All right. What you doing? Uh, I'm going to move uh, east three spaces. Enjoy Matt. Hey, Josh. How's it going? Good. So I spent three there. Doesn't sound very chipper to see you. No. Uh, I'm going to profit. Uh, I'm going to get... He's going to be so happy because he's going to get more than ten. He's going to be like, oh, I did more than ten. Nine. <laughs> ten, I would have eleven. If only. See? See? <laughs> Look at his face. He's hiding it with the hair, but you can still see it in the camera. <laughs> so that was the final round here for season one. So we're going to we're going to progress to season two. So please put us in round one of season two. We're going to get a new event that comes up, and no one profits from the ships reaching their destinations. So that's yeah. that's one thing. And, and also, you need to discard all the officials card and all the new ones. Ah, okay. okay. And that's, uh, forget about that one. And that's at the end of every round or at the end of the season? No, no, just at the end of the season. It's quite okay. different. It has, like, four other steps. And, uh, Okay, so our new event you that we have. Call, you have so, to call the previous event. What? But nobody helped, I think. The, yeah, no right, one helped. Yeah, it. no one helped with anything. Nothing reached their so locations. Just, yeah, so now you need to discover and, and then pull off the new event. All right, so first one up, we've got new routes. The Pirate Queen has asked her beloved charter to find a better route to move her jewelry chest on board the Dreadnought from her mansion in Mistral to the marketplace in Ventus. So here is Mistral down here, and I'm going to move this tracker to Ventus, which is up here. Okay. And finally, reach the great theater of Concona, so she can entertain herself with the finest dress and a new pair of earrings. Uh, that sounds nice. And then finally, arrest warrant. So the Commodore has set sail on board the flying fort from the port of Nebula. Where are you, Nebula? It's a little hard up the There door. we go. Okay. Right here. Uh, she has a special mission to accomplish. She needs to arrest the cunning portmaster of Arendelle, as she just found out that he is smuggling contraband goods, aiding low-life pirates. Um, if I was Arendelle, that's Friendel. Oh. Arendelle. Uh, it's, uh, it's on the... No, it's it's actually an E. Oh, we okay. Changed, we changed the font just because what you just read. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm shy. Not that good. A yellow. It's cool, but... Here, just give me this. That way you can't play with it. Okay. okay. So I think that we're all set up with the routes for the event card. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. And and then, what else do we got? And then we got four new... Officials. Officials. Okay, so first up we got the Portmaster. So Portmaster is pay a gold, use the action of any other British character. And then the bribed one is just use the action of any British character. We've got the Barkeep. He's my favorite. Uh, bribe any pirate character on display for one gold less. Pay at least one gold per bribe. And then bribe any character on display for one gold less. Pay at least one gold per bribe. So it's just any character then if, okay. you, if yeah. you bribe it for the barkeep. Yeah. The merchant is perform a profit action and gain one gold. And the bribe is perform a profit action, gain a gold, and ignore the flying fortress embargo. That's nice. And then the commodore. So advance the flying fortress one space, place one of your tokens on the acting event. And then the bribe is uh, advance. advance the flying fortress up to two spaces and place one of your tokens on the event. 
Okay. So, uh, then we need to roly-poly then. So, oh, it's me now, right? You are first player, Matt. Don't oh, forget this one yay. here. Oh, and I'm here are two more. I think I've got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, you do. All right. Okay, so first up, we're changing the direction of the wind, so now it's going to be pointing south. Ooh, okay. Yeah. We'll That's so nice. then we've got four profits. We've got one official. Okay. And then we've got two hybrid official slash place. So no octopi. No octopi. We don't have to worry about that. And I am up first. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is, hmm. So this guy's going down here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stay where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. And what are you doing up here in Stratus? Am I, though? Hold on one second. No, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go, this is me, right? Yep. <laughs> Down one, two, three over here. So I'm going to spend You're two gold for that. Onyx. And then I'm going to drop anchor there, but I'll just hold off on that because I'm going to take one of the hybrid actions, and I'm going to use that to establish a house there. So actually, I, you need to put one of my tokens in said bag. Okay. My turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. So... I think... I like the idea, not this one, maybe this are one. Are you going to move first, or are you still I'm, where you're at? I'm debating, Joshua. I'm considering my strategy. Perform profit action gain, plus perform profit action gain. Ignore the flying fortress embargo. Or I could start doing this one. Whatever will you do? You're thinking. I am. Can you hear I can see it? the smoke coming out of your ears. I think that's good. I'm going to move one space west. I'm going to drop anchor in Zephyr, sorry, which is going to move my automaton's connection up one. Mm -hmm. I also had to pay one gold to move. Then I'm going to take the bribe action. You see how committed I am to this decision? Yes. I'm going to take the bribe action, and I'm going to spend f five of my gold to bribing? bribe the Commodore 64. Commodore. I knew and you were going to take that one. Then um, we're going to use yellow. This is me. Merry Christmas. Uh, and that'll give me four mm -hmm. victory points, and it'll also give me the I'll use my other yellow, another yellow one, uh, Commodore to bribe. So now that I've for this turn, I could advance the Flying Fortress one space. Now this is the Flying Fortress. They're gonna go to Ventus. You bribing or wait? You are you bribing wait. or using their action? Oh, yeah. uh, it's right because I can just put it on there. Oh, I can't do both. No. No. Yeah, I'm bribing. Okay, so then that's it. How do I just use the action if I don't bribe? You don't bribe them. You don't pay them. You just use the action. Oh. No, I'm okay with this. What does he get replaced with, Josh? I know uh, you like the to judge. keep it to yourself. But oh, it's the judge. Ooh, the, the judge. judge. Good day, sir. It's my turn. Now, no. I, I do want to make note of something here, Josh. Nope. nope. Yes. Uh, so there is the hybrid action up. Yes. Which I know you probably want to use mm -hmm. for strategic reasons, but at the same time, yep. uh, I was thinking about using my judge, and if you notice that Anne only has two gold left, so if I was to pull one of her cubes, she would have to sell off one of her trade houses, FYI. Uh, why? Because I could pay two. Uh, it's three now. 
Oh. Um, that's great, but I'm taking it. One, it's a nice try. Two, three. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm doing the same move Matt did, though. He's copycatting me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a house. That means I need a cube. Matt, can you change up my score? No. Please. Okay. There you go. Um, and then I established. That's gonna go in the bag. And that's my turn. And I need to spend two movement to do that. Okay. So back two over to me. Movement. And two more Where am I at? I'm right there. Okay, so I'm going to spend... So movement is south right now. Correct. Meh. Meh. I'm going to go one, two, three over to here, and I'm going to drop anchor there. That's also... Co- if you were trying to go for the same thing, oh. that's closer for you. Yeah, that is true. Um, yeah, thank you. I keep confusing my cubes with the black ones. Uh, so I don't have a cube to put there. Um, put your house yellow? Upside, put your house sideways. That's going to get confusing. Uh, you're now yellow. Because purple and yellow are complementary colors. Okay. So uh, as as we pick those up, we'll adjust. Actually, give me that. I'll do this. I'll put the yellow on my track here. That's a way to do it. And then I'm going to use my profit action. So that increased my coal. How do I have maxed out coal? Five coal connections. Is there only five on the board? Okay, so one. Two. Two. Three, four, five. So, no, there's more than five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven on the board. One, yeah. two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I met that one there. So I have. So I have to do a profit action. So you gave me that there. So uh, what's he blocking right now? Rum. Yep. Cool. So I have a multiplier of four times three houses. So that's twelve. Then I've got two times one. So that's fourteen. So then three for the season, so 17. So I'm going to gain 17. So 17 plus 5 is 23. Okay. Okay. That's, that's mine, turn. right? Yeah. That's got to be. So that's you... 1, 2, 3, 4 coal. For you? Yeah. How many rum do I have? Uh, 1... Thought I had more. One. Well, it doesn't matter on your turn now, anyways. Yeah, but I kind of want to make sure my count was. Are you sure this isn't that was in the right place? It wasn't here. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That was the only one. Two. Okay. Uh, so that's two firearms. I don't think you have any firearms. Oh no, you have one. I thought you had one. You're right here on where my finger is. And then automatons one, two, three. But only two of the street houses. Okay. Uh which way is the wind blowing? South. S O U F. I have no cash. Which is fine. Do I wanna move? No. Doesn't benefit me at all. What's the embargo on now? Rum. Rum. Why is the rum gone? So if you were going to do the profit action, does that mean that your coal, you can't use these trading houses because, oh no, that, that's, you can't, you can't use this ROM one. I don't have a house. Because the dreadnought's here. That's true. Yeah. If you have a house there, it doesn't count for anything. Okay. But at the same time, the embargo is on ROM anyways, so it's a double blockade. Two. South. All right. So I'm not moving anywhere. Because it costs too much money. Lazy. I know. I'm going to use my profit action. I have two for coal and eight for automatons. Automaton. Automaton. Uh, plus two for, or three for the season. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Mm-hmm. Plus my two puts me at fifteen. I wasn't really paying attention to your math. I just did a... So, 
She could have taken advantage. I Eight, don't know. nine, ten plus three. Okay. So that's the end of my turn. Joshy Bear, your turn. All right. I am going to go. He's going to follow me again. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not following you. It's He's one, two, three. I was going to do what you originally were going to do. Yeah, see, told you. <laughs> Why are you going to copy everybody's strategy? He's a copycat. So that puts me at. Why are you ignoring my comment? I'm at max for the coal, and I have one, two, three, four. Four. Four coal places. Houses, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to profit. So four times five is 20, and that's all I get. No, three for the the year, too. No, three for the year. Yeah. Okay, so my turn. I'm going to go south one for free, and then one more over here. So I'm going to say hi to Josh. Hi, Josh. Can you give me another yellow cube, please? Here you go. And I'm going to drop anchor right there. So eh. So that's going to move me up. So I maxed out my coal, too. You're not special, Josh. And uh, then I'm going to grab that last profit action. There you go. So that's going to give me 5 times 3 is 15, plus another 2. So that's 17 plus another 3 for the 20. season. So that's 20. Cool. All right. So that is the end of this round. It's going to progress to round 2, season 2. We're in refresh, so we're going to move the ships. Okay. So the Flying Fortress is going to move 1, and we are going to Arendelle. So which way is the shortest route? Probably there. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, well, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably the fastest. Yep. So one, and it'll go rum, then firearms, then rum, then coal. And how about for the dreadnought? We're still, is this one moving two spaces now? It was just the one event? So that's going oh. con- Kona first, right? What's the event? No, the this one is. was for where that was going. This is going to Ventus. And then the, Kona. Yeah. Okay. So which way is the shortest route from Mistral to Ventus? I don't know. Well, that's helpful. Yes, Josh, I got it right. Imagine that. You can say you're wrong. It's okay. I'm going to listen. <laughs> One, two, three, World's worst captain. Four. One, two, three, four. Uh, not four. So. That one doesn't connect. One, two. Th- that one doesn't connect. One, two, three, four. That's going to be your fastest. So this is going to go to peak view, which is poop. I don't like that. Okay. okay. So uh, first player is going to move over to Anne. So Oops. go ahead and roll all them dice, girl. And wait, was there anything else that we needed to do for refresh? I don't think so. I think Not for the it. round, I don't think. Well, as, as long as you don't run any octopi. Oh, um, okay. Well, do I re-roll? So if it's a blank on the wind. Nothing moves. It just changed. No change, sorry. No change. No change. Okay, so the wind still stays south. I did, however, roll. An octopi. So you get to draw one from the bag. Just watch out. There's a hole in the bag on that side. Just going to use it as a (laughs) pet dispenser? Yes. Don't look in the bag. I did look in the bag. I really hope I didn't. <laughs> so Josh has to pay three. I like this. Uh, but you get it back, right? Yeah. There you go. All right. And so then you rolled what else? Uh, I rolled an establish, an official, two combos, and two profits. So this is the least profits that we've had so far. Yeah. Which is something. So what are you doing first? Okay. So south is free. The embargo is on firearms, and dude is on my automatons. I have 15 doll hairs. I'm going to go to Tingard, and then I think I'm going to go up one to Stratos, and I'm going to drop anchor on Stratos. Uh, here, give me the yellow one. And that's going to move that up one for my coal. Swap it out for the tracker on your board. <laughs> uh, and then 
I have the Commodore. Flying Fortress 1 space and place one of your tokens on the acting event card. But I bribed it so I can advance the Flying Fortress up to two spaces. I'm going to use my the official. Okay. Yeah, I like this idea. And that means I can advance the Flying Fortress up to two spaces. So we said the Flying Fortress was going to go this way, right? One, yep. two, three, four. And I could go one, two. Does it matter to me? Yeah, I want to keep it on firearms. One, two. And then I can put one of my... Here, take a red meeple. And we'll put that on the event card for me. Okay. That's the end of your turn. You took the action, you did. Okay, so yeah. Josh is going to go to you. It's going to go to me. What's your money at, Anne? Fifteen. Oh, I thought it was at five. That's disappointing. I think I'm going to stay where I'm at. Is it at fifteen? Wait. No, I think it's at fourteen. Do I have to spend one? Yeah, I'm not going to move. I'm going to use the establish action and upgrade. To a trading house? To a trading house. Okay. That's the end of your turn. That was easy. You know what? I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I thought of it first. So I'm going to stay where I'm at. I'm going to use the combo action that's down there. Sure. Here you go. I'm going to establish, so trade out my token for that. There you go. And then my houses are going up one for my coal. And that is the end of that. All right. I am going to... What are you going to do? Hmm. Oh, we still have that wild, too. Oh, yeah. I there can is. use that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for that any was, of them? That was an oopsie daisy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now I know. The more you know. I mean, it doesn't matter because Josh is going to do, I'm going to use my official and I'm going to use it to use my pirate queen so I can use the payout action of the one. I can't grab any more treasure, so it's not. It's not as good. It's not as good. Yeah. But I might do something. Nah, you should just not do anything. You just skip your turn. I think that would be the best bet. <laughs> Captain. 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 Oh, Captain, my Captain. Yeah. I think that I'm... I've already got one on there. Should I do profit or establish? I think I'm going to do establish. You're going to give Josh the free play one instead of using it? Well, what's he gonna do? I mean, is the official thing? He's just not gonna. Pro I'm fine. I'll take the. I'll take the free play one. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. And I'm gonna trade out Stratos for a trade house. That goes in the bag. Goes in the bag. It went in the bag. Goes in the bag. It went in the bag. And then I. I thought it was, was still in Anne's hand. No, I. I threw coal. It then what are you holding in your hand? Nothing. Oh, you're just pinching your fingers like a weirdo. <laughs> you're so <laughs> particular. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Easy enough. I'm you spent all your gold? No, I spent two gold. Takes me down to 12. That's it? Yeah, see, two for gold. What about moving? I didn't move. Oh, man, you're so cheap. I know. So, Josh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to buy the Portmaster. I'm going to bribe him. He only cost one. He's cheap. So you will get to go up one on the track to six. And uh, the new guy we got is... Pirate Queen. Pirate Zip queen. Pilates Queen. The Pilates Queen. Okay, so you can use that to perform the action of another pirate character. Cool. So my turn. Oh, did I want to move? Too late. You already did your action. Sorry. Good talk. <laughs> so frustrated. Look at him. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm debating what I want to do with my turn here. Um, you like to profit or profit? You know, I mean, where I want to move to. So, trying to see what's available. Sorry, Mr. Flying Fortress. Where do I want to go? Do I want to go anywhere down there? I don't know. I went pretty much everywhere down to the south. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and... What am I going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly myself one, two spaces this way, because that's not connected there. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop an anchor down there. So I don't have another key. You can't be yellow because I've already am yellow. Yeah, give me. Well, I I need. Oh yeah, I'm just dropping anchor. Okay, so I'll put that there. Okay. So that's increasing my firearms by one, and then I'll do a profit action. So I cannot profit off of the firearms this turn. Right. Um, but that's fine. I didn't have houses anywhere else, so I couldn't really help with that. So I have four houses times five for the coal, so that's ten, twenty. Right? Right. Right? Right. And then time uh, plus three for the season, so twenty-three I go up by. Okay. Okay, and that's the end of mine. So Anne's going to go to you. There, that's firearms. Um, I'm gonna head over to Nebula. Okay. And drop anchor. It's gonna cost me one gold. Mm -hmm. Takes me down to eleven. And then I'll go ahead and take that profit action. Uh, did I move my rum tracker up one? Because one, two, no, I didn't. Three. Okay, so I have two times three is six. Two times one is uh, two, which is eight. I can't do firearms. And my automatons, I have my one trading house is blocked, but the other one's not, so that's four still. So six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's not bad. No. So it takes me up to 26 with that profit action. Rolling dough over there. And that is the end. You literally have $65. Gold. What are you talking about? Rolling in dough. I mean, I'm swimming in it. I'm doing the Scrooge McDuck. You really you know. are. Diving off the board and everything. So that's the end of this round. It's going to progress to round three of season two. So the final round of season two. So we're going to move the ships. Whoopsie, sorry, Mr. Flying Fortress. So he's going to go over here, so no more profiting off of rum. And then you can move that one. One, two, so no more profiting off of onyx. For that place. Yep, that's okay. what I said, onyx. Okay. All right. Um, and the winning condition of the game is who has most gold? Who has who most, has most points? points? All right, does so gold turn into points? Four gold is one point. Okay. He got worried when you said how much gold you yeah, had. Yeah, he did. I just, I just yeah, he did. wasn't sure. I missed that part of the conversation. So, wind's blowing east now. East. East. We've got... Wind is not in my favor. Three profit. We've got some... One double action. One... I forgot the name of it. Establish. Establish. Establish and then two... Bribe? Bribe. Official? No octopi. No octopi. No okay, that's good. All right. Uh, winds are moving east, so I can move nowhere for free. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I really don't have anywhere to go. He's just going to sit and Scrooge McDuck it now. Yep. Yep, I am. Um... I'm going to use the combo action. I'm going to use the captain ability. Okay. To move the dreadnought one space closer 
the this one. Oh, that one. Okay. So I'm gonna get a cube on here. Right, and so now you can remove this this token, so it's gonna progress. Oh, I'm just destroying everything. Uh, to the next look spot. So to Concona. Okay, that's the end of your turn, Josh. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's gonna pass to Lil Ol' Me. Give me that thing. I didn't have a coal location no, you here. Did not. Okay, so. So where am I gonna go? It's going to the east. And what would benefit me? Nothing really, to be honest. Um, I can just start throwing some stuff up. I'm right. gonna go down three so that I can account for that mistake. I'm gonna go over here. That's not. Is that mine? Yeah, that's mine. I'm gonna go over here. So I'm gonna add one of my automatons. Um, Connection. I'm gonna put another laying down building there. So that's gonna get increased, and then I'm going to use the. Uh, official? Anything. Official, thank official. you. The official you action. Go. And I'm going to use that to bribe the Pirate Queen. Okay, and that costs 10, but that'll give Correct. you 5 points. You're purple, so that will move you up to uh, 8. Okay. And so then this is blocked off now. And the next person that comes on is the Captain. El Capitan. So advance the dread not one space. Place one of your tokens on the acting event card, and then uh, the bribe action is uh, advance Ooh, the dread not two spaces. Okay. There you go. El Capitan. And that's gonna be the end of my turn. Is that it? Your turn in. How much money did I get last time? Not enough. So I'm at twenty-three or thirteen. I believe you were at 23. Okay. Well, I was at 26, uh, and then I went down three. Yes. When we realized that that wasn't me. So you only get the points for the event if it makes it there? Uh, that is correct. Does it move on the last action, on the la and the, en the end of the last turn? Or is that the beginning of the turn they move? Uh, Elad, can you help us out with that? What? When do the actual... Go ahead. The flagship's moving only on the refresh phase. And the refresh happens at the end of every turn, even the end of round three? So the, the flying the freight... No, the, the, uh, the round three, yes, but not on the final round. Okay. 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 So if it makes it there at the end of the, the final third round, then it's good. Yes. Yeah. So... It, it can... It, it, it can, you know, if you help it at least once or twice, it, it, it should get there. Okay. Cool. What are you doing, Anne? So, with that in mind, east is the free. I don't want to go east. I already have something there. Mm -hmm. I don't want to establish. I'm going to go two west. That takes me down to 21. I'm going to pick up my little treasure dude. I'm going to drop anchor. That's going to move my connection up one for my coal. Then I'm going to use the official action mm -hmm. for my portmaster. And I'm going to advance the flying frigate up to uh, Arendelle. Ooh, now there's a coal embargo. And I'm going to use another meeple and put that on the event. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Cool. Yay. Josh, make her move. I, I can't. Make there's, her move. There's no more. Make her move. She's mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mean pirate lady. There's yeah. no more thingies. No more thingies. Uh, I'm going to move. <sighs> you successfully south. flustered both of us. Thank south you. one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build... 
the house. So I spent five. Using that action. Okay. Use that action. Did you put a cube into the notoriety bag? Um, no, I need a cube. Right there. And you can replace it with a... Do we have another black maple? There you go. Black house. That works. Okay. So then it is my turn. Hmm. How's that coal embargo? Yeah, nothing I can do is actually going to benefit me at all. That's nice. That's nice. It's good. Thanks, Anne. You're, You're a welcome, real pal. Guys. I appreciate it. So I'm going to go one, and that's for free because that's to the east. Mm hmm. Two, mm -hmm. three, four. So I'm gonna spend three gold. I get my treasure. Here's your treasure. Thank you very much. Dang and then I, I increase my automatons by one. And then give me my profit. And the profit is going to garner me a whopping three, six gold. Wow. Uh, Thanks, Ann. You're welcome, guys. Jerk. So I'm going to go east one, which is free. It doesn't matter. One, two, three. Yes, I like this idea. I'm going to, no, I lied. I'm going to go, what do I need to increase? What is, has an embargo? That's got an embargo, so I can't even go there. <laughs> so that answers that question. That was my from. Mm, yeah, I could do that. Uh, I knocked everything over. Yep, I did a good job with that. Thanks. I'm going to go one south. I'm going to drop anchor on Gale. That's going to cost me one. I'm going to grab that profit. <sighs> I have... Doesn't matter how much coal you have. That's right. But that's okay because I have one rum. And I have eight uh, automatons. That's nine. Okay. So plus three more. So 12. Yep. Which puts me at 33. I have 58. Um. <laughs> so <laughs> salty. All right. So, uh, Josh, it is now your turn. Um. You don't like any of your options. I can tell that by the tone in your voice, young man. I'm going to go east one for free. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go west. I'm already there. I'm going to go... Where are you going? I'm going to go over here. So that costs you two. two. I'm going to drop anchor so that ups my rum. So I'm going to profit. So I'm going to get a whole two gold for my rum and three for the season. I'm so proud of myself That was, that was right a good now. move. That was honestly a very good move, Ben. <laughs> All right. So thankfully, mercifully, it is the end of this round. So it's the end of this season. Yes. Uh -huh. So the dreadnought's gonna move to. No, one. the dreadnought doesn't move at the end of the season. Eli just said it did. I thought. No, he actually just said it didn't, which is why I moved the flying frigate to Arendelle. At the end of okay. the round, but not the end of the season. Okay. No, it's, it's it doesn't move at the end of the season. Yeah. It's just not moving on the final round. It's not moving on the very final oh. final. Oh. final round. Season three. Season round three. three is what you're saying. Yeah. I was confused. Yeah. You, you was completely fine. It was going to move there. Well, it's still a good move for her to do that, though. It How is. much gold did you get last One, round? One, two. <laughs> so it makes it, that makes it there still. Yes. So we both complete. Both. Both. The mission here. Yes. yes. So how many points do we get for this? Five each. Okay. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's split it. Well, she got one and I got the other. I got oh, the pirate one. She got the the, the, the British one. Too small, my story. So yeah. It's all right. That goes to nine, and that goes to eleven. All right. Matt, our new event. Our new event. So, well, that's upside down. Uh, we've got across the sea of clouds. The barkeep of the biggest inn in Azura. So it's starting on Azura has always dreamed to set sail and reach the other side of the world as he knew them. Thanks to his amazing craft ale, the captain of the Dreadnought granted him his lifelong wish to set sail and reach the lovely port town of Feingard. So, Anne, you got your points for uh, completing that mission? Let me know where Feingard Okay, so, Josh, you, she... Okay, thank you. Someone's paying attention. Is here. Okay. Okay, so down under. 
A new craze for rum set the market of Fell into frenzy for the taste of the sweet beverage. Due to a rise in the price of merchants of Mistral, uh, asked for the flying fort to escort their convoy to repel any attempt to seize the much-needed barrels of rum. So we're going to Mistral. I need some... Give me a yellow meeple. What do you need a yellow meeple for? Because I need something completely different so I don't get confused again. There's Mistral. And then it's... That's it. Oh, never mind. I don't yeah, need yeah, it. Yeah, you two. Okay, so it's going there. We need the four new officials that are being bribed. So first up, we've got the merchant, which is perform a profit action and gain plus one gold. So that's going over there. We've got the charter, which is perform an establish action. Then we've got the governor. Governor. Hello, governor. Uh, discard the governor character card and then discard any card on display for two gold. And then we've got the smuggler. So the smuggler, uh, perform a profit action and ignore the dreadnought embargo. So I am first player now. Mm -hmm. Give me them dice, please. There you are, Matt. Captain Matt, thank you very much. No, thank you. Okay, so the winds are blowing east still. And we've got... Oh, we've got a lot of establishing. So three establishes. Okay. We've got one official. Okay. We've got two hybrids. Okay. And we've got one profit. All right. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to go first. Where am I at? I am. So what's being embargoed? Oh, of course. Coal. coal. That's great. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, and Anne. That that's one. so nice of you. Thanks. So nice. Uh, so what was what was the officials that are in play right now? We have the merchant, the charter, the governor, and the smuggler. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, where am I? I don't know where I'm at. I am down there at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. That works. So, I'm going to go... One, two over here, so I'm going to spend two of my gold, mm -hmm. my precious, precious gold, and then I'm going to use a the official action that's there, Okay. and I'm going to use that to activate my pirate queen, which okay. is going to perform the action of another pirate character, so I'm going to use that to perform the action of the... Um, Hold on. Had it in my head right here. Where'd it go? Oh, the charter. So the charter, I'm going to perform an establish action. So I'm going to go ahead and establish where I'm at there. So I'm, I'm going to put this standing up right here. I, I have the last one there. So no one can bribe the pirate queen anymore. And so that's going to move oh, me up you, one there. No, yeah, it's, I that was a. Uh, I already had it bribed. I just needed to change the marker out. Um, so then I get a free. What I get a. Uh, when I do the pirate queen, I gain one treasure, off of the treasure map. So I'm going to go ahead and where am I at? What treasures do one, I need? One, two. Uh, I'm trying to see which direction. I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. Yeah. Okay, and that's going to be the end of my turn. All right, so Anne, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Where's the Flying Fortress going? Flying Fortress is going to Mistral from Fell. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, or four, five. So I'm going to move. F and then I think what I'm going to do. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go east. 
And then east again, which spends one dollar for me. Okay. I'm going to grab one of those establishes. I'm going to change Zephyr from this to a, a thing. No, which one do I want to put in? I have to put the house there. Put this one in here. Which puts me there. Um, I'm at 32. Okay. And that's it. Bueno. Josh, your turn. What action are you doing? She did the establish. Establish. Oh, the, I didn't see you take it. Yeah, she did. Oh, I forgot there was like so many in there. Um, where is? Don Cole. Yeah, I'm just trying to see where I'm at. Makes me sad. Direction for the wind is east. Yep. West. Yes. Um, I'm gonna move east one. That's not Josh. Oh, where no, are you going? I'm not going. To, I, I thought that was me. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to go north one. Okay. I'm going to establish. Establish. So I spent three. That's my last house. You cannot make any more houses. Yep. It's seven. It's seven, right? Uh, eight, eight. Oh, I have one more then. It's laying on its side right there, where you just were. I was. Gra I've been grabbing the houses off the side because we had ten to start with. Oh, so that's I, right. I don't yeah. know. Oh, what am I even at? I don't even know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Nope, that's not standing up. Knock this down. Why do we do that? One, two, three, four. Five, six. So yeah, I could build two more houses. Okay. So it's back to me. You you grabbed your action from the pool. Yep. So where am I at? I'm over here. What do I want to do to myself here? Okay. So I'm going to go. One, two, to here. And then I'm going to do the, uh, one of the hybrid actions there. Thank you very much. There. And I'm going to use that to activate the Pirate Queen again. So then I'm going to use that to do an establish action where I'm at. So I'm going to spend my five gold. And then I'm going to establish another house there on the firearm. Thank you. And then I will take my last treasure. Boop. Boop. Cool. Kay. We have explored all of the treasures. The wonders of the world. And it's to you. I am going to do something really great. What's that? I will let you know in a second. Just gonna move the ship so we can all get some coal. I don't think so. That'd be nice. Well, that's really nice of you, Anne. I really do appreciate that. Aren't I thoughtful? Except I'm not. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I thought about it for like a second. This is mine. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I have. Oh, that. Oh. Okay, that goes with this. Three. What don't I have stuff on? You don't need to put any more stuff. You can just skip your turn. That's fine. You're a generous and lazy pirate queen. I don't think so, though. I, I don't know. Two, I know you, Anne. Three. That doesn't really increase my multiple, though. So how much would I really want to spend? Oh, four. Jeez Louise. And the other Meow, 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 meow. 
locked in. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Hey, Anna, Elvira has a message for you in chat. One, one, two, three. All right. Um, I don't know if I have 32. Uh, I'm going to spend three to move there, which is going to take me down to 29. Okay. I'm going to drop anchor there mm -hmm. on Lumen. That's going to move my connection up one more for the rum. And then I'm going to take that profit action. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. <laughs> Um, do I want to profit on that or do I want to establish and does it make a difference get all that money mm. I, don't know. I think I'm going to profit okay so I have uh, three rum and 12 automatons is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that puts me up to 48. Still have 51. All right. <laughs> My turn? <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. I'm going to go one way this way. I'll drop anchor here. Uh, I mean, so I get another rum. I am going to take this combo. And I, the smuggler is mine. Thanks, Josh. Uh, that's two, right? Can you fix no, it, please? No, don't, 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 don't give it to him. So why'd you take the smuggler? Uh, for a good reason. Oh, I see why. <laughs> a little late now. It is, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so it's my turn. I only have one trade house to put up, so I have to place this wisely. You have to use the action on the die. I think so. I mean, you, if you can't put up a trade house, then you can't put one up. Um. Hmm. So, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for a nice place to settle down, Matt. Yeah, exactly. Start a family, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, standard pirate things. <laughs> um. What I'm curious is, is what cold places don't I have a house on right now? Uh, cold play uh, is not part of this universe. This one where the dreadnought is, where you can't go. I see. I keep looking at these, and I think that I'm the the black ships, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> the black houses. You are not. I'm not. Uh, all the way over here. Uh, you can make it over there. It's four spaces. Where? I can make it there. How? Yep. One, Once a free, two, 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 three, four. Oh, I thought that that was the dreadnought. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I like and that. It only costs you three. Yeah. That's. Thank you, Josh. That was very helpful of you. That was. Why are you helping him? Now I need a house. Where's your other house? Hey, and how much is it to to establish there? Two. Okay. So I'm gonna establish there for two. One, two. And my last house, it's um. It's laying here. Down there. How does? It, Cause that was a laying down house too. Yeah. So but you just I had an extra house. Give him, give one of her treasures over, Matt, to lay it down. There you go. We'll just shift these over to show I've got ten. We all got all our treasures, so we all got ten give points. Me, give me the die. I want it. Okay, cool. And that's the end of that. So that's going to increase the houses for that by one. Awesome. All right, so that's going to be the end of that round. So yes. these are going to progress by one. So this is going to go down to Gale, mm -hmm. and the Dreadnought's going to move two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. No, you skipped the Treasure Island. Oh, does the Treasure Island count as one? Yes. Yeah, yes. I guess so. All right, so then we need to roll the dice, so please, and thank you. Magic works. And it's going south now. Free movement south. So we got, uh, right off the bat, I have the Notorious. Ooh. The Notorious Squid. Notorious Squid? You should grab the round one. Oh, that's right there. And now they're going to be... Uh... 
Josh. <laughs> so, Josh, that's four for you now. Here you go. You can have that back. Okay. So, put that over there. Okay. There's so, the and what are you doing with your first turn? I am going to... Hmm... I'm going to take the wild card. Okay. Where am I going? What makes a difference to me? We're going south? Where is south for me? I guess either of these would technically be south for me. Yeah. Technically. Neither of them really do anything <coughs> for me, though, unless I establish... So... Great. But that's fine, I guess. One is south, is free. One, two. I'm going to spend two. Forty-eight? Forty-eight, yeah, because I wasn't so far behind you. One, two. Forty-six. What uh, What uh, officers are up, Josh? The uh, we got the merchant, the uh, charter... The portmaster and the governor. I'm going to lay down one at Onyx. And then I'm going to bribe the merchant for two. Okay. And we need a new card. Can I have to come a out? yellow meeple, please? Yep. Yeah. And the new one that came out is a pirate queen. Pirate Queens. She gets around. Can I have okay. two yellow meeples, actually? And that's the end of your turn, right, Ann? Yeah. Okay, so Josh, it's on you. All right. I'm going to go one south, You're then purple. one north. I'm red. I'm going to establish. There's two of them that are in between spaces. What are they supposed to be on? <laughs> no, he's on a space. This one is like on two. I'm going to establish, and how much is that to establish? Three? Uh, yes. Three. That's my last house. All right. Okay. So I'm going to... Where am I? I'm about to take the combo, because I'm going to be mean. Um, where am I? Keep missing where I'm at. <clears throat> okay, so I'm there. Um, doesn't help me to go. Doesn't matter where I move. Because I maxed out all the locations that I can get houses on. I can't get any more houses. So, what's the wind? I'm going to go one space to the south. Just going to bum it up. And then I'm going to take a profit action. Okay. Can you pass one over, Josh? I want Josh to do it. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay, so well, let me. Can, can I get my money first? You can get your money. Okay. So you can start thinking. It's going to take her ten minutes yeah, to do that's it. That's very true. So, so yeah, you can go ahead. And <laughs> so I have five here, times five, so it's twenty-five. Then I've got three times three. One, two, three, four, five. So that's nine. So that's. Thirty-four plus the round, so rums. it's another four, so it's thirty-eight. You're not on. Is he on? there? He's on a rum. No. Four. Four. Boop. Okay. So, Anne, what are you doing with your turn? I established an onyx for two. Cool. Okay. All right. So, Josh, your turn. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna chill, and I'm gonna profit. You're not gonna float south. <sighs> You'll float too. Um, we I guess I can. Yeah, I'll float over here and. It's it's energy efficient. It's sightseeing on a budget. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and float yeah. south one as well, please. Oh no, uh, yeah, float me down south. Thank you very much. No, no, no. That's uh. I can't fine. stay on the island. Uh, the treasure island, and then I'm gonna do a profit again. Thank you very much. 
TY VM. Which means the only option I have left is also to profit, but am I moving anywhere to make it worthwhile? I should float down here and move my firearm connection up once. You, one of your firearm work. houses don't work right now, though. And you don't That's get your not a rum. firearm house. Or what is that? That's uh, uh, automaton. Tomador houses don't work. A what? Pretty. Whatever. Tom Tomador. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you point to me at the uh, R in that word? I'm a pirate. R's go everywhere. <laughs> uh, do I actually want to do that? Because does it make a difference? I don't have any firearm houses. Okay. That's already established. Still don't have any firearms. <laughs> I like how Niobari pronounced it there. <laughs> <laughs> Josh the mumbling pirate. Captain Mumblebeard. His beard hair has actually knotted itself, so that way he can't speak anymore. Yeah. That's, that's the way it happens. Whatever, it doesn't even matter if I drop that or not. So. Alright, so that's going to be the end of that one. So, Josh, your captain. Ships Josh, are going to move. Ships are going to move. So, Eight. this one is moving which direction? 9, 10, 11. Cool. Uh, Josh, can you? And uh, is 19. That one's moving towards the bottom one there. This one here? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, they're equidistant. Oh. Tiebreakers uh. based on wind direction, which south. is south. Then and it's tied to what? Then I don't know what the tiebreaker is beyond that. Elad, what's the tiebreaker for determining ship movement? Um, you'll roll a die, and that will be the, ah. the wind die. Sorry. So, that north, <laughs> that doesn't really... <laughs> no. No. Good rolling, Josh. East. Okay, so it does go there. You suck, Josh. I hate you very much. You are a jerk. No one likes you. Any other? I get the other die, Matt. Yeah. And uh, and well, I'm sorry. Can you tell me the four officials again? I keep forgetting. Oh, did you meet the uh, dreadnought? No, I did not. It should move two towards this, so it's gonna go here. Pirate queen, charter, governor. And Portmaster. When's the east? We have four prophets. Uh, two bribes, uh, wild. So I gotta grab a cube. Did I grab myself? This makes me so happy. It's How much do you have to spend? Four. What? All right. So it's my turn. Yes, it is. Uh, right. So there's a wild. There's two officials, and there's four payouts. How do you have 122 gold? No, no, it's 112. That's on a 20. Yeah, and this is on 90. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna move. Two spaces. Mm -hmm. Sure. Is that worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. I'm going to drop ship there. Okay. Uh, drop anchor. I am going to take a wild action. Okay. I'm going to use my smuggler ability. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to profit. But I ignore the uh, coal restriction. Very good. Okay. So it's my turn. Um, I'm going to stay where I'm at. And then I'm going to take the official ability. And I'm just going to use that to activate the portmaster. So that moves the flying fortress one space. Hold on. I want to see what... There's only one place to go. Okay. I just wanted to look. Is that so bad? Okay. So it moves. And then I put one token of mine on the, uh, the tracker there. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Anne? Matthew? Hi, how are you? Doing well. How Splendid. are you? Splendid. Splendid. That's really nice. Splenda. 
Oh, and what got replaced with the Portmaster? Or what replaced the Portmaster? When you use it, does it go away? Yes. I thought it was when you only bribe them, they go away. No. I think it goes away when you use it. Um, the Commodore. Commodore 64? Yep, advance the Flying Fortress, one space, or two if you've bribed her. Okay. And what are you doing? I... Whatever will you do? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry. It's only me. Where am I? Of course they're east. Do 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 do. I believe in you, Anne. To make the wrong decision. You can't do that. I can't go No. Oh the stupid thing is there. You can't uh -huh. move through the Dreadnought. Stupid thing. You know not of the Dreadnought's abilities uh, to make you dread. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very confused. Is there a spot I don't have a black cube on a rum location, Matt? Uh, I don't know. I think I actually have them all, so I should have got one more gold. Sure, you did. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to see Anne's turns go for not. Get it? No, Dread I don't. No, no, I don't. You get it? You get it, Anne? Anne, you get it? What action are you doing, Anne? You get it, Anne? Anne, you get it? Mm. Anne, do, do you get it, Anne? Uh, I am going to <laughs> use the official to use the charter to perform an establish, establish action on Arendelle for coal. Do I have to? I still have to pay the gold, I yeah, presume. Yeah. So then that takes me to 58. Okay. okay. So, uh, is this the discard pile? Uh, yeah. The no, it's not. Uh, the bar key came up, but it really doesn't matter anymore because this is the last turn and we can't. Do anything but profit. Do anything but profit. You're welcome, Josh. Um, I can't make my profits any better. No. Nope. Moving anywhere. So I will just profit. You can't get rum, though. Uh-huh. All right. It sucks to be... Matt, um, are you moving anywhere, nah, or are you I'm just profiting? I'm going to stay where I'm at, so I'm just going to profit. So I got a math here. Hold on. That's 5 times 5 is 25, plus 9 is 34, plus 4 is 38. 2, 3, plus... And are you moving before your last profit? Yep. I'm sad they don't get another profit. You spend one. Oh, it doesn't even matter because... Can't get rum. Can't get rum. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> Matt, what, what's your ending gold? A lot. How much is a what's lot? What's yours at? Cause I, more than yours. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't see yours. You got that You got that good ability where you, uh, you're you able to profit an extra time. What's yours at anyways? Uh, 199. Ooh. And you're going to profit again. Uh, that, that was with the last profit. Oh, okay. I... I, I already oh, so you're, you weren't that much more I mean if I had the one last profit action I would have caught up I'm at I'm at a buck 60 if I got the wine it would have been an extra rum rum it would have been an extra uh, eight so I'm at a buck 60 for mine Four plus 4 6 86 okay so that's that so they don't move at the end of this round here right yeah okay so now we have our goals that we have to resolve okay so I need to count the bag, don't I? First goal yeah. is player with the most notoriety in the bag at the end. Um, and did you build all your houses? I have no idea. Um, to, be, to be completely honest, uh, three, I built all of mine. Four, five, six. Some of those have pulled out, so you need to actually check and make sure the whole. Uh, is not Matt, you have the most in here. You have eight. Okay, so I have eight, so it's going to give me five points, so can you please bump me five points on that track, Anne? And who had second? Seven. Um, Second would be me. So Josh got three. Five. 
And then, and you get one. Next up is the player with the most connected adjacent trade houses at the end of the game. I wasn't even paying attention to that one, to be honest. All right, I'm moving all the ships because we don't need them, right? No, we don't. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three. That's What's the last goal? Four is the one. Uh, the last goal here is the player with the most bribed British characters. Okay, so I'm taking of off game. things that I've established, but I haven't built trade houses, and I'm going to put my... Well, does established mean... No, it's just no. trade houses that are adjacent. So... I think Matt has it for first. Okay, so that's four more for me. I mean, five more for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, actually, I mean... Four, five, and and how many do you have? Two. One. Who's got second? Who's got third? I think we are tied. So what happens on a tie there, Elad? Uh, you split. So you combine like it's the second and the third. Okay. So it's four points, and each get two points. Okay. okay so you're going up five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two. Okay. And then most bribe British characters. So British? Anne, yeah, British. So that's me. So Anne got five for that one. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five. And then... Both of us get one two. One. Josh and I, yeah, Josh one, and I both get two. One, two. Okay, so what other scoring happens now? Uh, money, basically. It's the big... Uh, uh, we all get t ten points for our treasure. Yeah, we get ten points for the treasure. Yes. Okay, and then money div uh, divided by four. Yes. So I had a buck sixty, so one hundred sixty divided by four. Hey, that's easy. That's forty points. Twenty-three. One ninety-nine, Matt. That's upsetting that you missed out on four, uh, one additional point from that. Uh, how much do you have, Josh? Uh, I get forty-nine points. Yeah. What's the um, four gold. Yeah, he forty nine points for Josh. Yep. How many uh, spots ahead of Josh was I? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Josh beat me by four. Okay, and I'm not even gonna bother counting the rest. Okay. Because of the money, 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 money. All so right. Seventy nine, Matt. You're at thirty five right now. Thirty five plus forty, so forty five. I mean, seventy five. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was every four gold is one point. Yeah. R yeah. Wow. So you take yeah. your gold divided by four. Yeah. All right. So with that, that was our spotlight presentation by Steam Pirates by Golden Egg Games. Uh, Elon, is there anything else that you wanted to say about this game before we wrap it up this evening? Um. Well, you played a full game. And just just to make sure that um, you know all the components will look much much better in the final version, you can check the game. And it's right now on Kickstarter. I don't know if you when you will watch it. It will be on a website. You can also check it out on BGG. Uh, we have rules updates, and the components has, has gotten much better than the ones sorry <laughs> that you play with. So uh, that's for sure, and uh, hopefully if um, some of you guys are in Spiel, maybe uh, you can come over and you know demo the game for yourself and see how it turned out. Very good. So you are live on Kickstarter right now. Uh, how much time do you have left? Mm, five, six days, I think. It's end <laughs> on, uh, on my birthday, which is cool. Ah. <laughs> uh, <on> the, <laughs> 22nd of October, and um, hopefully we will find it uh, by then. Uh, and what's your funding goal? Uh, we're aiming for seven thousand dollars, and um, I think we right now we are shy that uh, two uh, two thousand five hundred dollars shy. So hopefully we will get get it funded by by then. So uh, a big last week push, and then you get a nice happy birthday present, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. And then the next day I fly uh, to Germany, so that's uh, also nice. 
That sounds that, that's really good exciting. Timing right there. Yeah. All right. Well, Elad, thank you so much for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. And thank all of you for watching at home. Stay tuned. In just a minute, we're going to come back with our first impression session where we talk about our favorite aspects of the game, any constructive criticisms we have, and the most important question of the evening of would we play Steam Pirates again? But signing off for now, I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. We're Twist Gaming. Thanks again, Elad. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.